Hello. How's everyone doing? <laughs> it's been a while since I've streamed. Um, sorry, I've been really busy in real life. Work has been absolutely manic this week, but as you can probably tell by the fact that I am uh, I'm actually uh, streaming on Tuesday at 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, I've actually got the week off, so I'm going to do some oxygen not included. Have some fun. Um, we, we had a pretty good colony going. Um, I might as well just show that off quickly, but we're gonna we're gonna start a new colony today. Um, so just bear with me one second. So I'll show you the colony we've got going. This was my first attempt at a oxygen not included uh, spaced out colony. So I've never played the DLC before. Um, I played the base game quite a lot, but um, I ha I didn't really know anything about the DLC and the the changes and everything that that entailed. Um, so I think it's pretty good for a starter colony, but I'm going to start a new map because um, the tool that lets you check all of the what's available on different maps is um, has been updated for the DLC. And what I usually like to do is I like to go and have a look for an interesting map and start playing on it. So yeah, um, it's gone pretty well. Uh, I've got about 20 dupes. We... Uh, we solved the sort of food and oxygen problems, and we were just at the point where <laughs> we could leave these guys a, a long, a long, long time, and they'd be all right. Um, we were going to go into space and do all that exploring, but I think I think I'd rather start again on a different map now that I know a bit more about what I'm doing. Um, avoid making a few of the mistakes from last time, and just make a slightly more organized base. Um, so, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm going to start again. I've already found a good map. So I will, uh, first of all, I'll use this command and hopefully this will work. So that website in the chat is a really good tool that you can use to find maps with specific features that you want. Like you can find maps that have uh, the right combination of world traits, or if you're looking for a lot of specific geysers, you can can find a map on there uh, that has a load of what you're looking for so we'll do survival and this one's going to be a classic a uh, classic setup but it's still got all the spaced out colony so there's going to be a larger starting asteroid a bit more space a bit more space and a bit less <laughs> space between everything so now i'm going to go and uh, find the seed that i found earlier so it is just here, right the tab. And this is going to be quite a challenging start. So, so this map is going to be Iridio. So that's one of the more challenging uh, presets for a map. It starts off quite hot, not not incredibly hot, but hot enough that you're going to have problems. Um, and the reason I picked this map is because it has five very active iron volcanoes on it and i quite i quite felt i quite feel like making a map where i have a lot of steel production um so i basically just put into tools not included where can i find the most iron like kilograms per second in oxygen not included because what the tool does is it scans like it will load maps with random seeds and then it will it will cycle through them, and then it'll upload the data from those maps onto the website. Um, so people can run it uh, on their own computers if they've got nothing else to do, and it will it will chug away. And this is the seed that I found at the moment that has the most iron per second on it. So I wanted to give it a try, and I haven't played Radio in a while. It's quite different to. Um, it's quite different to the squelchy asteroid that we started on last time. So uh, I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, so we've got trapped oil, so lots of oil wells, geoactive, lots of geysers and vents. Y you would expect that based on what I just told you. Um, and then I guess the asteroid nearby with the teleporter is a radioactive terabog. I'm not really sure what that entails. Uh, there wasn't anything super interesting on there or super out of the ordinary. I think the only cold water in the map 
or nearby is on this planet. So that's going to be something we try and hook up right away. And there's lots of volcanoes and magma on this planet, so we'll have to be careful. Then uh, we've got Tundra Asteroid. Uh, that has four more iron volcanoes on it. <laughs> so we're going to go and sort that out once we get space travel up. And um, Superconductive Asteroid. Yeah, so I haven't actually done a lot of the space exploration. So we'll do that in this game. But I wanted to pick this map. I wanted to uh, start again. Now that the tool's not included, it's been updated. And yeah, just just uh, have another go. Try and uh, fix some of the mistakes from last time. My, my lamp is annoying me. I've got a lamp here. I've got a lamp here that should be backlighting me, but it's drifting downwards. Let's see what that does. Yeah, I hope everyone's having a pleasant Tuesday. I certainly am, because I'm not working. <laughs> I should be able to stream this a fair while today. I haven't got anything else that needs doing. I've got some errands to run throughout the week. But I will I will try and give this a good go this week. And I'll try and stick to the schedule a bit more uh, going forward. But I'm at Scotland for work reasons next week. So I won't be streaming next week. I will be back, and I'm going to be sticking with this map for a while. <sighs> so, this is going to be a challenging map, and because of the because of the heat, farming initially is going to be difficult. So we want a proper rancher, and to be honest, I want someone who starts with the ranching skill. I mean, we'll see who we get, but I might be uh, I might be re-rolling for a little bit. Exosuit training. Interesting. Uh, decorating isn't bad. Let's stick with this for now. I'll... I'll re-roll some more. Um, if... If I feel like it, but I'm probably not going to re-roll too much. It's not super interesting. I don't think we need to do it to just survive, but... Just to make things a little bit easier. So we want a proper researcher. So being able to dig a bisolite, it's not bad. But we're gonna we're gonna get a proper digger, so that's not needed. Uh let's see. Shabby day cool. <laughs> there we go, perfect. This, this is a good combo on a dupe. So you got the, re the plus seven researching skill. You've got quick learner, so another plus three science. So that's plus ten total. And then can't do cooking errands. I think we'll manage. I think someone else will do the cooking. So that this is definitely going to be our researcher. And then digging. <laughs> You've got the same combo. Now, something I never figured out with science when it's uh, when it says plus thirty percent skill leveling, does that mean um, that the attributes also level up faster? Is that lit or is that literally just the skill points themselves? Because I feel <laughs> I feel like it makes the attributes go up faster, but I'm not sure whether that's a placebo effect or not. Um, still quite good. Do I want to get someone with hard digging right away? Probably not, because I'm probably going to go into that straight away. I think this is fine. And then... Oh... No, I'll, I'll keep re-rolling the rancher. I want the husbandry to be as high as possible, really. Maybe we'll just go for quick learner on everyone. Get those skills faster. I think that's going to be the most relevant thing. We'll want those skills very quickly anyways. Irritable bowel, I don't think that's really a problem. Yeah, I think we're I think we're set. I think I'm gonna stop rolling. <laughs> so what what are we doing? What's the name of this place gonna be called? I do like the names that they come up with, but they can be a bit random. It reminds me of the super super auto pets random names. Like sometimes you get some that really work and sometimes you get ones that uh, are less cohesive. <laughs> it 
super duper galaxy. I like that. Simple. It's to the point. Let's let's go for it. So, with tools not included, I have got I have got the map that I can look at if I really want to. I'm gonna try and look at it as little as possible because I don't think I don't think I really need to look at it now. I just use the map so that I would have an interesting starting asteroid. But there's not anything super obvious that I need to do. So I'm, I'm just gonna just gonna not look at the map for now. We'll come back to it later. All right, let's get started. So we've got water over here. Now, this map is hot. All everything that's not the immediate starting zone is over 30 degrees. And that's bad because uh well the, the oxyferns are alright, they'll go up to 40 degrees. But mealwood, mealwood will not grow if it gets above 30 degrees. So we basically don't have mealwood on this map. At least not until we get some cooling in. We do have trees. They'll go up to 40 degrees. And we do have pips. So I think the plan is going to be just rush pip branching as soon as possible. And, um, and just make omelettes out of the eggs and everyone eats omelettes. I think that's going to be the plan. I think that's how I've done this, uh, this Iridio style map before. I think we'll do I think we'll do the bathrooms over here and we'll this will be like the access shaft. So let's just dig out here to get a mix of things. Oh let's let's do priorities as well. So yes, digging, yes, researching, yes, ranching. Uh I'm gonna give everyone oh, whoops. I'm going to give everyone plus one building for now, uh, just to help start things off. I'm also going to give everyone plus one life support and plus two toggling. I like doing that just so that if you tell someone to flick a switch, they just will flick the switch. Um, I find that quite useful. Um, yeah. Schedule. Uh, oh yeah, schedule. Let's... <laughs> all work all the time. Easy. Uh, let's do... Two downtime, one bedtime for now. So hopefully they will. Uh, hopefully they'll um, uh, get all the stuff done and then they'll get in bed. I like having one bedtime slot when I can, just so they don't waste time sleeping when they're already at max stamina, because they can recover their stamina in one and a bit. And when they get in the bed, they'll just stay asleep until they reach 100% stamina or the end of bedtime, whichever is first. But obviously, they need enough time to get to their beds. So we'll see how that goes. And also, we need to build beds. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can dig this way as well, I guess. Let's make this six. So we're going to try and get the bathrooms and the bedrooms up today. So we're going to put door here. I think the ladder will go here. This will be floor, so then we'll just go up here. But now we'll just do this just so we can get into the water without breaking it. And and a pitch pump. So yeah, that should be fine. How how tall the bedrooms again? They're they're all the, the bathrooms. They're three tall. So another door here. I like having a three three tile wide access shaft just because at the start you can have one ladder and then like a two wide object but eventually you can have the ladder fire pole uh, transit tube so we'll go with that for now um, plumbing 
Well, I want push basins. I'll put in two. We should be able to build two. Outhouse, two. That should constitute a bedroom. I'll dig all of that as well, just so they can get around that. I do like starting a new map. I have to admit, I, I always find the early game super enjoyable. <laughs> just this initial push, just to <laughs> have everyone <laughs> have somewhere to sleep and just not poo on the floor. We don't want we don't want our uh, duplicates getting swifty. That's <laughs> Christ. I haven't watched that show in ages. I used to have a Rick and Morsey mouse map. My sister got it um, for me as a birthday present, but that that got super old and worn out. So I've now got my my nice big mouse map. Yeah, I'm also going to start uploading uh, these VODs to YouTube because I do actually have a YouTube channel um, that I haven't been using. Um, oh, we got pressure damage. Bollocks. It's the dirt, isn't it? Bollocks. Okay. Let's uh, let's sol solve that problem first before the uh, dirt breaks. Yes, there is a yellow alert. Please move your feet. I mean, at least you won't get hypothermia because this water isn't uh, cold. So we'll put that tile in, and then that should solve the problem. It's just breaking through the dirt because the dirt is quite a weak tile. In fact, I could probably still have that outpost, uh, <laughs> outpost, outhouse there. That'll be fine. So there's quite a lot of hexalent on the map, so we should have enough food to last a while. I don't really want to hire any more duplicates or print any more duplicates because food is going to be challenging until we get pit branches up because we're not going to be cool enough to grow mealwood like these plants are going to overheat very quickly. Yes. Um, so I selected this map because there are five iron volcanoes. And the other thing is they're all in sort of like a nice little wedge formation. Like, so I could set up each volcano with its own tamer and then have just around my main base. I just think it's going to be a pretty interesting setup for a long term, a long term colony I work on for a while. What are you doing? Why are you idle? If you're idle, you can sweep this up, but you shouldn't be idle. So this is going to be the research lab. Yeah, so I think that's about right. And then beds. I'll just put those here for now. I do like all the new music they added to this uh, game. How it, how it fades in and out when you're doing different things in this game is really cool. I like that design a lot. <laughs> ah, I'm so annoyed. I should I should have spotted that dirt tile, but we've got we've got a cork there now, so that'll be fine. This is why I set the schedule like this because you always need to do a little extra work on the first day. I find just to get everything actually up and running. Uh, are you all sweeping or building? I'm 
Mm. Okay, that's better. Yeah, we'll drain this water quite quickly, so I'm just going to leave that there. And we got more water over here. We've got lots of hydrogen down here, which is excellent. We've got Drecos. So Drecos is another route we can go. Um, and we will go because we will need the plastic and the reed fiber. So this colony is going to be quite ranch centric. I'm quite comfortable with ranches now. I have some good designs. I'm going to replicate the... Um, I'm going to replicate the ranch design from one of my single player... Well, one of my unstreamed colonies I did ages ago. Um, I had a pretty good pip layout. Right, I think we're almost there. So we've got water, we've got two two bathrooms, and we've got three beds. I don't think we need three bathrooms. The water's a little further away than I'd like, but it's not really going to be a problem. And what we'll do is when we set up the proper bathrooms, we'll output the excess polluted water into an arbitrary, and that will be our starting pip ranch. So I think I've got a pretty solid early game plan for this. We've got lots of... Yeah, we've got lots of oxyferns as well, so we'll need to do something with that. It's probably where all this water's going to go, because at least these plants can go up to 40 degrees. So we don't need to cool this water for the oxyferns. All right, you guys actually did it. You um, you set up everything, and now you've got time to sweep up all this water from the leak. <laughs> they always pull the funniest face when they're, they're doing the sweeping. It never ceases to amuse me. We're just going to speed one it for a while, because I like the early game. It's like them all derping around. Oh, you're finished now. Um, is there anything else for you to do before downtime? I guess we can do some more digging. <laughs> there you go, have fun. Yeah, and hopefully they won't just uh, <laughs> eat in the bathroom, because that seems to uh, happen quite a lot. We'll need somewhere to dump the polluted water so that it doesn't off-gas. And so that it doesn't contaminate the uh, fresh water, because... I know food poisoning doesn't do anything in the air, but I just don't want a load of food poisoning germs everywhere. I had that as uh, quite a problem with the last base, is that... Because we were off-gassing all of the polluted oxygen, occasionally we just have... Um, oh, we were off-gassing all the polluted dirt. Sometimes the po uh, food poisoning dirt would get into the regular dirt, and you just have explosions of food poisoning germs throughout the base. You'd have, like, millions of germs for tile. And they don't do anything, but it's just irritating. <laughs> yeah, so now they're finishing their food. They're feeling tired because it's bedtime. And now they're all going to go to sleep. And they're not going to spend a minute longer in bed than they need to because uh, they've only got the one bedtime shift. I'm, I would like to stick to one bedtime shift if I can. But it's quite difficult to do without... Um, you need to have the recreation room right and the mess hall right next to the bedrooms. Uh, which we intend to do, but uh, it's going to take some actual good planning and... Uh, Maybe some athletics training. <laughs> there you go. We got three guys this time. Usually we end up with a mix of guys and girls, but um, it's not a problem. Okay, so research is probably the next thing to do. You do not need to disinfect these toilets. So we've got three tiles over here for now. Uh, probably just 
We'll put the supercomputer here eventually, but... There's no real need at the moment. Maybe I'll just keep that space clear for it. I don't know, we'll get, we'll get rid of the single battery at some point anyway, so... We might keep the manual generator for a while. We'll put tiles in for all of this, so they can run around faster. Yeah, I'll probably just do that. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. We're not going to have the floor here forever, so I'm probably not going to bother tiling that up. Put in some more doors here for airflow. We we'll want the research station as well. I could have put these one tile further over uh, to give space for the research station here and the supercomputer here, and I like putting them next to the printing pod just because of the light, but um, this is fine. Keep the wires down here. I'll probably break into this bit, get some, get some food. Tile, tile this over. Do something with this space. Maybe we'll put the the mess hall here for now or something. We'll reorganize. We'll reorganize later, but yeah, there's no need to get ahead of ourselves. So we're not going to have any polluted uh, or algae on this map. So all of the oxygen we're going to get from um, the oxy ferns. So I need to start planning around that fairly quickly. So probably the next thing to do is just extend this ladder to keep going down. Looks like I haven't had any drop frames. Looks like um, OBS is running fine. We got a bit. Tile this across as well. Um, yeah, so just nice standard start. I think getting the uh, Oxy Ferns up and running is going to be uh, the early game objective. And then. I'm hoping by the end of the street, I'll have pit branches set up, and that will be the food. Because I don't think there's any cold water geysers on this map, having a, had a look at the seed. Uh, so we'll need to go to the other planet for that, and that seems a way off. So we're just going to try and make it work with everything being quite toasty. This map is quite toasty, but that is the price we pay for having five high output Iron Volcanoes, right next to the starting that I am. <laughs> nah. I, I like playing this game when you can kind of cook the seed a little, like... It's not like you're... It's not like you're just making a map where you start with, like, a hundred, like, water geysers right next to your base. You're just finding something that naturally generated. And, ooh, we've got a hatch! I didn't think you could start with a hatch. I, I guess there's always a tile right next to your printing pod that has a hatch in it. Because now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever started a game without a hatch. Even though they don't normally like appear in, these, uh, in this biome. I feel like that's just hard-coded in. But I appreciate it because having hatches is going to make this a lot easier as well. Because we can start getting coal. I think there's a, a, a volcano fairly nearby as well. But that's obviously a way off. So I think the plan will be stone hatches, igneous rock into coal. And then that'll be the refined carbon for all the steel. Because I think one of my long-term objectives for this map is just to have like 
maximum steel output. So that's going to be all the iron volcanoes, all 10 of them on this cluster. Um, a load of refined carbon and just a load of eggs. Right, you're idle. So let's dig this out as well, get a few extra resources. And we do need some research, so... I don't think there's ever any reason not to do mess tables. We want to get all the tech for um, oxyferns, but we've got some manual labor to do before that anyways. And we've got enough oxygen and food just on the map to keep these three dupes alive for quite a while. So I'm not super worried about that. Is there any more water? I don't think so. So I think what I might do is I might um, set up the pump here and pump this water into the oxyferns and use this water for research because I don't really feel like mixing these tanks. And I'm gonna have I'm gonna have ranches over here, I think. Oh we got natural gas here. There must be a there must be a natural gas geyser here then. So that's pretty good. I did not actually look at that when I was looking at the seed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm quite glad my I've got a lamp that's um, backlighting me now, um, and it kept slipping down, but it stopped slipping down now, so that's good. I'm going to open this door, though, so that this guy isn't uh, confined. It must be a pretty miserable life for a hatch just being stuck in a door until until you go to the egg room. Some hydrogen down here, so this, this biome's kind of leaked slightly, but that's not a problem. I mean, the whole map is hot, like... So long as, so long as it stays below 40 degrees Celsius, we're fine. But yeah, we are going to have to be conscious of heat right from the beginning. There's no cold water geyser on this planet. So we are going to need to set up some rudimentary cooling right away. And I'm kind of thinking um, the solution to that is a thermoregulator with hydrogen. Um, I don't normally go for those because the aqua tuners are technically more efficient. But we're not going to have a robust power network right away and you can run a thermoregulator on 240 watts um you probably get it's probably a, i think it's about a fifth of the power and if you're using it with hydrogen instead of water in the aqua tuner it's about a tenth of the cooling and to be honest it's probably all we need because we're probably only going to need to keep one or two rooms specifically cold And that's probably just going to be where we have the, the power generators and any temperature resistant farms. We probably will want to grow mealwood for the yeah that'll be for the glossy drecos. We'll need we'll need a robust cooling network for the glossy drecos to keep that room cold. So that's what we'll do. There you go. In fact. Uh, I don't think there's any reason not to just have these doors open. I mean, you put them there for the room bonuses, but um, it's not like there's any shine bugs. Oh, there are shine bugs on the map. I'll keep the bedrooms. Uh, actually, I'll keep these ones closed then. You open the doors and it takes slightly less time for people to walk through them. <laughs> Every second counts. But, uh,. Yeah, I don't want shine bugs going into the bedrooms. So we've got planter boxes, but again, that's not going to be relevant because it's it's already it's almost too hot in here to grow any mealwood. And we've got plenty of starting food on the map, so I don't think I'm even going to bother with the mealwood. We're just going to go straight for pit branching. And that does mean we'll need the, the ranching skill right away, so Rowan. 
Yeah, you're all on similar skill point levels. And one of you is much more science skill, so... I feel like the, the science skill doesn't affect attribute leveling. I never figured that out. <laughs> I find it's very rare that the dude wakes up and they don't do like a little stretch. Or I, I guess it's not. <laughs> you're, you're extra sleepy for some reason. There you go. This game is very cute. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have a little guy. <laughs> there, there we go. He can stay here until um, until we get the all the building slots unlocked. Then he can move on top of the radiation slot because that's where <laughs> why I position my camera where it is. I'm not obstructing the UI. But for now, he's they're gonna have one idler down down there by uh, the webcam. So the reason we're digging down is because we want all the CO2 in this base to collect at the bottom. That's where we're going to have all of our um, oxy ferns. And that's how we're going to be getting the oxygen. Because they need to breathe a little bit of CO2 to produce a lot of oxygen. And obviously they're producing a lot of oxygen. So you want to make sure they don't get sort of congested. So that means we're going to end up going all the way into here. Uh, I mean, we probably will go all the way into here just because we're going to want all this dirt. We're going to want all the oxygen and the food. We're going to want all the seeds. Although, actually, this is... Oh, there's a random lump of uranium here. So maybe, maybe we will just cap it off here for now. And we'll come back to this area because it looks quite small. Way <laughs> I caught him mid arm swing. Um, right, so now we have now we have meal tables. I think. So we will set up a little mess hall, and we will quite quickly turn into a great hall because these guys deserve. These guys deserve morale after what I put the previous dupes through. They they did not have a very fun time. And we'll get the water cooler. Because <laughs> last time, on my first... It was my first space that map, and we started on the squelchy asteroid that I had no prior knowledge of. And it was certainly squelchy. <laughs> um, we, we did eventually sort it out, but man, I... I would not want to have been one of those dupes. These guys have had a much uh, more straightforward time. They're, they're not getting hypothermia. They're not uh, getting ill. They're not getting yucky lungs. It's just a nice, it's just a nice normal base. It's just quite hot, but it's fine. That I mean, they're wearing their little suits. I guess they can take their like jumpers off if they get too hot. <laughs> Maybe it makes sense to get cool vests. I don't know. I never normally bother with the cool vests and the uh, the warm sweaters, but it may be worth it on a radio. Our Pip's on a mission. He's going to go plant a seed somewhere where it's just going to stifle because it's too hot. <laughs> Good lad. Uh, we'll dig this up. We might as well finish off this space. Yeah, and I think I'll just do this ladder so it goes all the way down. Well, actually, how far are we going to want to go? Let's let's see. I always like my rows of four. Yeah, so this seems like a, a fairly natural stopping point. Or actually, we could... Yeah, we'll stop it here for now, and then we'll uh, we'll revisit this a little later. Come back and collect all of this material. Got a hot rust biome 
salt vines. Rusty oxidizers are fun. Uh, I don't think that's super high on my list, but having a way of just eating chlorine is nice. I think that's my I think that's my New Year's resolution when it comes to oxygen not included is to stop random gases floating through my base as much as I can. And I think this will be a lot more straightforward on this map because we're gonna we're gonna work hard to make sure that there isn't any polluted oxygen. Yep, so this will be the Great Hall. I guess that's your mission for today is to get the Great Hall finished. Although we need we need the decor as well, so that will be a flower pot. I I don't think I'm gonna hire any new dupes. Um, unless they're absolutely exceptional, because uh, we've got a lot of food at the moment, but until we get these ranches going, uh, I think it's going to be a struggle. I may hire a si one singular dupe more. Let's, let's see. Wow, hatchling eggs. That's really good. Or I, could, or I could get a plus 12 decorator who's anemic. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. Um, this decorator is a lot better, but I don't need a decorator. Hatchling eggs. So that's really going to help the hatch ranch go. I wonder whether that's because I got this random hatch that's offering me hatchling eggs. I'm very grateful because this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna make things a lot easier. But I still think the main plan is gonna be well, I mean, we'll have the hatch ranch as well. But the main plan is gonna be pit branching. Because we want we want dirt. We want dirt, we want food. These guys just turn into omelets. It's funny, with the hatches, it's more efficient to let them grow um, uh, into adults and then kill them. Or cook them, I guess. Uh, but with the pips, it's actually more food efficient just to turn their eggs into omelettes. Because the eggs are much larger relative to the pip calories. Well, they're not much larger, but I think I think that an omelette will be like 2,000 calories. And the equivalent egg mass in pips would be 1,600 calories. worth of meat. And you could cook the meat, but then... Mm, I don't know. It's certainly less lag <laughs> to just cook the eggs and not have them wander around for ages. But yeah, no more dupes. Not for now. So we're going to want this to be we're going to want this to be the Oxy Ferns. So how many are we going to fit in here? Well, I mean, we'll go with 11 to start because it's our standard sort of room size, but we'll just expand. We'll just keep expanding that as necessary. I don't... I, we have one seed so far, but there's loads of the plants on the map, so I'm not really worried about that. We will, we will want to dig all of this out and aerate it as well. So... That's definitely worth doing. And I'm going to tile this preemptively because this is eventually going to be a room in the base and we want to get over to this water. I think this water will, will be what we use for the Oxy ferns themselves. And we'll just drain that fairly sharpish. 
I'm actually going to speed to it already. I didn't speed one. It, I didn't speed to it a lot last time near the game because it was very uh, involved at the beginning. This map is a little less involved. It's more of a long-term challenge with just the persistent ambient heat. But uh, yeah, these guys get to speed too for a little bit. I want to put in another ladder here as well so they can get down to the bedrooms this way. Or the uh, barracks, rather. Yeah, these rooms are all functioning as intended. We might as well dig this all out as well. Yep. I'm just going to speed to it the whole time, I think. I don't like speed 3 it at all, really, because they tend to ponder a lot on speed 3. And time passes quicker, but your dupes actually get less done, and they still consume the same amount of air calories. I feel like speed 2 is an acceptable compromise. Right, what's that? So we've got a flower pot. Truly the most important aspect of the base. So we'll get that done right away and then we can put a mirth leaf in there. I don't think we're going to have any problems keeping mirth leaves warm on this map. And uh, yeah, that's it. Great haul. Done. I like putting the water cooler on whichever side is closest to the pitch pump for obvious reasons. There we go. So, I like to I like to have my base. Uh, generally, when I'm lay out, laying out my base, what I like to do is I like to have a 23 tile block here, 23 tile wide block. And the reason it's 23 and not 24 is because it you can divide it up with doors very easily. So you can divide it into two 11 by 4 rooms, with doors in the middle. You can divide it into three 7 by 4 rooms, with the doors at the two third points. And then you can divide it into four 5 by 4 rooms, with the with the walls at uh, doors at quarter points. Um, so you've got a lot of different options for configuring the same space. And then when I do the ranches, I just do the ranches off to the side and make them slightly longer as needed to suit the critters. Got a spare surge protector down here by my feet. It's just winding me up. Hold on. Because, uh, yeah, I've been uh, installing a um, real life Paku tank. <laughs> it's over here. Uh, got my fish tank. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. And I actually got it uh, yesterday. Um, so I'm going to fill it up and get it set up and running uh, when I'm back from Scotland. And uh, then we're going to have a real-life Paku tank. <laughs> well, not, not with real-life Pakus, because I think Pakus are not fish you keep in a fish tank. I think they're too large. But they are a real fish. I believe you find them uh, in South America. Like, they're Amazon River fish, I think? I don't know. I might have to look that up. I might actually add that to the Paku command. <laughs> like, add, just, like add a Wikipedia link leading to, straight to Pakus, because I didn't know they existed until I looked it up. I just thought it was like some kind of weird creature, because obviously hatches don't exist in this game. <laughs> but Pakus do. Hopefully we'll get some Pakus. I'm not holding out for it. I don't know if there are any on the map. We'll probably get some from the printing pod eventually. There's no pressure damage here, is there? No, that's good. Yes, I'm going to upload um, all of these VODs to YouTube. So, Because I think I'm going to spend a lot of time on this map. Like a lot more than the previous map. The previous map was kind of just a test run. 
for making sure that, well, A, my computer can handle streaming again, because that was right when I started. I haven't, before that, I didn't stream since 2018, 2019. And also, just to make sure I didn't immediately die upon playing with DLC. <laughs> and I did not immediately die, so that was good. And I was also just waiting for the tool to come out where you can find interesting maps. Which again, there is a command for. Right, so do we need any research? Well, we do, but... Does anything need researching right away? Probably all of the stuff to do with the oxyferns. So that's going to be... It's going to be plumbing. It's going to be plumbing and hydroponics. So we'll want plumbing and then we'll want advanced research. Yeah, I think it's time for speed two again. Uh, let's plant the plant, please, so that we get the morale bonus. Not that anyone's going to be stressed out at the moment, because no one even has any skill points, but these guys deserve nice things after all the crap they put up with on the last map. Sometimes literally. <laughs> Those sublimation stations are just gross. So... One thing about this game is you can have a look at the star map and it will tell you what geysers you have on the map. Oh! Oh wow, they've changed this! So it doesn't just straight up tell you what the geysers are now. That's interesting, because before it would... Oh, hold on. Before it would just tell you every geyser that was on the planet, but now they're hidden unless you've actually found them. Although, it says there's an oil reservoir somewhere. I mean, I knew that there's an oil reservoir because it's got trapped oil. We know there's a natural gas geyser. I haven't found the two water things yet, but yeah. The planet is called Timberera. I like that. That is that is indeed a name. The names in this game are very good. Uh, bu -bu -bu. So, yeah, let's ladder in here. We'll, uh, we'll dig this all out. Because we're going to want all these resources. And then we'll just set up the pump and everything in here. And we'll just slowly drain that water off. So is the CO2 dissipating? Not 100%. So we're going to want to dig down here as well. We could just clear all of this out. We've got, got pumps. There's no point setting up that stuff too early. We'll get the advanced research. I actually um, do want to get the jumbo battery sooner rather than later. Ordinarily, I don't really mind, because for the amount of power we're consuming at this stage in the game, having a regular battery isn't too bad, but the heat production is just not very efficient from a heat point of view, and I'm just very conscious that this map is quite hot. So I will get rid of this. I'll, I'll put that somewhere else. I wonder if I can just put the, the batteries in here. I'd quite like that. Yeah, this is a great hall now, so they've got that bonus. Again, not like anyone needs the extra morale at the moment. But yeah, we'll get our um, advanced research uh, skill unlocked tomorrow, I think. So we'll have the tech just in time to get the advanced research. And then we can get the hydroponic tiles and get those built. <sighs> I feel like with this crew, 
We're looking for a, a proper builder. I picked the digger, the rancher, and the researcher just because those are skills that you need to unlock specifically to do what you need to do. But, um... Uh, building, you don't need any specific skills, but it's obviously incredibly, incredibly useful to have. So I find it's usually a good fourth dude pick up is the builder. I'm actually going to turn it up just a little bit. I, f I feel like the game audio it might be a bit low. There we go. I mean, there's not really a lot of music going on at the moment. I'm just having a snore. There you go, he's having a little stretch. Because the CO... Well, I don't know, maybe it's because the CO2 is building up in this room now. We do need to get that CO2 out of there. I do not want people running around uh, uh, suffocating. But obviously that's going to be contingent on us uh, actually getting these oxy ferns set up. Because they don't produce a lot wild. You need, you need to feed them, really. To actually have enough oxygen to keep, keep the dupes... Uh, breathing. We do have wood on this map as well, which is something to consider as well as a power source. Obviously that produces a huge amount of CO2, but if we want to pollute some water, that may not necessarily be a bad thing. Because we can we can pump that CO2 into the carbon skimmer and get the get the water out. Or get the water into polluted water. There we go, that's that's helpful getting some uh, extra construction. Yeah, let's just speed to it. We need all this CO2 to go away. Probably dig all uh, that out as well. Just as a bit more room to dissipate. There's no geodes on this map, so we're not going to just bump into a random oxygen geode like last time, so we can't rely on that. We'll dig in here as well so we can get these oxy ferns. But yeah, we're, we're going to want to go on a mission just to collect the oxy ferns fairly soon. Um, let's see. Yeah, that. Oh, wow, that's actually a perfect fit. That's good. So we'll build tiles all the way out there because we're going to want those eventually. Break into that room. So now we've got... No, <laughs> we've got rocketry. There we go. We'll just build a rocket and fly away. Perfect. Right, so now we'll deconstruct this. Oh no, there's no point deconstructing this yet. We need the tech for the better battery first. Let's do that. Yep, and we'll just we'll just keep speed toing it because uh, this early game should be fairly straightforward in comparison to last time. But I just need to make sure not to overexpand um, because until we get the oxy ferns up and running, there is no backup oxygen on this map. There's no algae. There's no significant amount significant amounts of polluted dirt. Uh, what I'll actually do as well is I'll. I'll actually deconstruct this and I'll put the... I'll... Hmm, no, I won't do that. I'll put a ladder in here. I mean, this is just temporary, but I'll put a ladder in there and I'll put a storage bin for uh, off-gassing items in there. 
like the polluted dirt. Because my my <laughs> my sub goal for this run is to avoid unnecessary gases on the map. So we're going to be fairly strict about that. And obviously, a big part of that will be getting the bathrooms up and running. So we've got our skill point. Let's get it. Advanced research. There we go. <laughs> these these tutorial things occasionally have uh, funny videos on them. I'd highly recommend watching them if you haven't before. They're quite funny. And the 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 shorts that the developers do for the um, the game as well are quite funny. They just do YouTube shorts about various things. Um, I think I did one fairly recently. So they are still doing them. Yeah, I just find this game very cute and unintentionally funny, I suppose. But yeah, all these dupes uh, digging around in the CO2, it really reminds me of my um, real-life confined spaces training. Because um, I'm a civil engineer in the uh, energy sector, so I've done quite a lot of work involving new gas pipes being installed. And one of them was in a tunnel that goes underneath Lowestoft Harbour. Um, so that tunnel was quite deep underground, and it was underneath the, the river. I can't remember what the river's called. Um, but, um, yeah, there, there was a big risk of sort of, like, if there's a natural gas leak, and you're so far below ground, of suffocating. So I had to do special, uh, I had to do special training <laughs> about that. And to be honest, th there was a, there was sort of like a, a written exam about it after the training course but if you played this game at all you would be able to pass the exam easily it's, it's stuff like co2 falls to the bottom so and a natural gas is slightly above it <laughs> and i'm not saying this game is like 100 percent realistic but it's <laughs> it for that specific test it would have gotten the job done oh this was the wrong button there we go we got the got the bed in the bath Right, so we've got our hard digging, so that means we can dig around the granite. I'm not going to for now, because I don't want this area to overheat. But that will be that'll be handy for later. <sighs> yeah, everyone's starting to suffocate just because there's not a lot of uh, oxygen being produced. Right, let's move the... I wonder if we can just move the battery up here, because we'll need the advanced... Uh, we'll need the advanced station. So let's deconstruct this. And I'm hoping we could put the battery in here. And Actually, let's, let's be smart about this. Let's um, deconstruct bed. This is just going to be a temporary barracks. It's going to be four people max. So we'll do something like this. We'll put the battery here. Then we'll have the advanced research station here. But yeah, the oxygen pressure is starting to uh, decrease. So we will need to keep breaking into these oxygenated areas uh, just while we get the um, oxy ferns set up. That's definitely the that's definitely the early game challenge is oxygen on this map, and that's another reason why I'm not trying to overhire dupes because you hire another dupe at the start for more work and then. They're, they're taking up all the oxygen so no one can breathe, and then everyone's running around for air, and it's just not very efficient. <laughs> yeah, deconstruct the bed while he's in it. I'm sure he won't mind.
Because they're, they're, yeah, because because they're sleeping there, they're spending a lot of time in this one room. So this is why I have the double doors is to try and maximize the gas flow, but um, it's not foolproof. The only foolproof way of doing it is to have airflow tiles everywhere, but dupes can't run over them as fast as normal tiles, and it uses a lot of metal. So I just don't tend to do that. So we'll do a jumbo battery there, supercomputer there, and again that will take in the light from the the printing pod. I've seen people set up like Bristol Blossom Farms around the printing pod, but I think this is probably the generally best use for light. We'll put polluted dirt in here once that's uh, once that's a thing. Hmm. Yeah, we've got a second earth leaf, so we can put that there. We've got our third skill point, so we're going to farming for now, but eventually, well, very soon we will put you into uh, ranching, because we will absolutely need those ranches for food. So I want to dig this out as well, just get as much of this oxygen as possible. We'll dig all of that out. Yeah, so we can have the we can have the battery in here, it doesn't affect the barracks. I feel like it might have affected the Great Hall. Although maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, I don't know. It's less wiring here. I'm not going to overthink that. So, yep. Let's uh, speed to it. Still got plenty of food for now. I'll open this door. That oh, actually, no. I won't open this door because it's where all the, it's where all the dudes are. These shine bugs, so they produce radiation now. Uh, it's safe levels of radiation, but something to consider. Right, so we're going to need the uh, hydroponic farms right away. We're going to one. How exactly are we going to want to do this? So, we'll want coal, we want ox light in the list. Um, dirt, lumber, aluminium ore, igneous rock, oxy fern seeds. I'll, I'll just put all the seeds on there for now. So, we've got five seeds so far. Yeah, for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a ladder that goes um, down here. And we'll, we'll run the pipe through here. And then we'll have the, the plants here. And then eventually we'll expend, extend it over to the other side. So that's going to look something like this. Oh man, my eyes are going funny. Oh, I woke up at like half five today. And I did not actually feel like going back to sleep. I had loads of energy. Um, and we need to get some laundry done. So... <laughs> So, um, so I just did that. I'm hoping I'm not going to pay the price for that later. Wow. 
So, <laughs> so we started off with a single random hatchling. Um, then our first printing pod was three hatchling eggs, and our second printing pod is a hatchling. So we're going to have five hatches right away. That's uh, well, not right away, but very soon. All of these dupes are rubbish. This guy is hilarious. Plus 14 agriculture. <laughs> minus 3 agriculture. Great. Um, the funny thing is, I'm pretty sure these points that you start with, you like as a dupe levels their attributes, I'll go up to max of 20. So the max applies to this. But this will apply on top of that. So this guy has peaked super early. <laughs> like after like decades and decades of farming he's going to start with a plus 11 and he's going to go all the way up to plus 17 but the other farmers are going to get up to plus 20 so this guy is really bad so we're going to take the hatchling and again we're running out of oxygen at the moment so the game the game title it is living up to its namesake with these forest maps, I always I always find oxygen the first challenge because you don't have algae, you don't have polluted dirt. So we're probably just going to want the wire to come through. Well, actually, we don't need a wire to come down here. We need the wire to go up here. This isn't going to be forever. I'll get rid of this snaking stuff once all that water's drained. But this is what, what we're going to use to start off the, uh, the oxy ferns. We will eventually need some real <laughs> cold water for that. But uh, that might take some time. Although we do have a... Wow, we have a... We have something over here. Uh, it could be... <laughs> that could be one of the um, iron volcanoes. Yeah, we're going to want to go over there and investigate. That should do. That should allow us to get in there. Yeah, that should be fine. So we'll do that. Um, I'll put tiles here. We'll want to hook up more of this oxygen as well. There's a load of oxygen up here. But yeah, what's the what's the actual pressure looking like? Not too bad. We do just need the CO2 to just drop down right away. So uh, we'll do that. Speed to it again. We'll expand the... We'll, we'll have this ladder go up as well. Just explore that part of the map a bit more. But uh, I think this stuff needs to be slightly higher priority. Uh, I want lights in here eventually. Although maybe I could just lure a shine bug in. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just lure shine bugs into the bathrooms. And then they can light up the bathrooms, and then I think that helps people go to the bathroom faster. But I don't know. Okay, so that was close. That was a case where they almost didn't get to bed on time. And if they miss the bed, if they miss the bath, uh, the bedtime shift, then they'll probably get exhausted and wander back to the bed during the day. And if they don't make it in time, they'll fall asleep on the floor, and that's. They take a long time to recover their stamina doing that. And they get a sore back. 
so I don't want that to happen. But what I tend to do is I tend to just put in more downtime slots instead of more bedtime slots. Because that gives them a flat morale bonus. And they usually have stuff to do in their downtime. Even if it's just socializing or whatever. I'd rather them doing that than just sleeping in bed when their stamina is 100% because the bedtime shift is telling them to do so. So yeah, let's keep speed doing it. I'm out of coffee. So, <laughs> I probably drink way too much caffeine. But I'm on holiday. Uh... I haven't got anything else to do today, so <laughs> I don't mind sitting here and drinking some Pepsi. I think we're also going to struggle to keep food um, uh, refrigerated on this map. It may just be worth getting a, a normal fridge for a while. Oh, there's slime lung in here. Why is there slime lung in here? There's a morb. Oh, that's annoying. Ah, oh, I thought this map wouldn't have any germs on it. I hate germs. I hate slime lung in particular. Slime lung can just go away. So hydrogen's gonna be all germy. Well, I guess the hydrogen isn't. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep uh let's keep building all this stuff. We'll get those hydroponics fairly soon. Yeah, aluminium's alright as a metal. Uh, it doesn't have any bonuses or penalties. Um, obviously, you're not getting the decor bonus like you would from copper. And it's not uh, heat resistant like gold, but I don't really mind. Got power over here. We're going to want to hook this up fairly quickly because we'll want the polluted water for trees. And we'll want the natural gas for power. But yeah, let's... Ooh, we've got uh, Squeaky Puffed as well. We've got Sulfur. Sour Gas. Yuck. Oh yeah, I forget these stupid Sour Gas by Spawn a radio. Spawn on a radio. <sighs> yeah, whatever. We're, we're gonna... I think I'm gonna try and... Once we've got a fair way into the game, I'm going to try and steal off the base and do exosuits. Actually seal it off and put in proper pumping so it's just oxygen and CO2 in the base. Because I just had a lot of random gases last time. There's a lot of random chlorine floating around the map. It was just very messy. But yeah, let's see what this uh, let's see what this is because I've forgotten. <laughs> I've forgotten and I'm not going to go look at the seed map unless I absolutely have to. So we've got the um, hydroponics now. So let's put those in. So we've got five seeds for now. probably going to want uh we'll want all the oxy ferns down here obviously but um see how that goes okay what we got <laughs> he looks very cute in his little hat I 
and I'm not digging. Um, I'm not digging this tile because oh, it's an iron volcano. Okay, I'm not digging this tile because I don't want the volcano to start erupting. Or maybe I do. Um, it's probably worthwhile just putting insulated tile here and just having the volcano erupt and leak heat out. Well, not leak heat out, but like we'll want this producing the refined iron for us. And eventually we'll cool it down. Or something. There's a large amount of salt water here. So I'm honestly thinking the best plan is to just dump the... Get a fair amount of salt water just underneath this iron volcano and just have the heat slowly evaporate the salt water. Filter that. And we'll cool down the iron at the same time and that'll be usable. So that's probably going to be the first iron volcano that we use. There are five on this planet. So do we need anything else? I don't think we do research-wise, so let's just get building. Because we want to improve this oxygen pressure as much as we possibly can. We'll want to break into all these bits as well. So let's, let's plan out where our floors are going. Yeah, so we'll, we'll break in like this. I think that'll uh I think that'll do. <sighs> right, let's uh just see uh how the downtime goes. I'm gonna just check something quickly. <laughs> you need the loot. Very very astute of you. Okay, let's, uh, let's speed to it. Okay, so we do need a ration box, is the impression I'm getting. Because I think they're spending more time wandering for food than they used to. Yeah, they're, they're not going to finish in time, are they? Yeah, that's uh, mildly annoying. Yeah, so build a ration box. Um, I'm just going to actually put that on this side. We'll move all of the random food that we're finding on the map into the vessel. We'll set that as priority 9, I think. Because I don't want anyone... Uh, I don't want get anyone getting uh, exhausted. If I can avoid it. And I'm just going to start filling these with seeds right away because these pips do have a habit of just planting stuff in the hydroponics and just being very annoying. You're trapped. That is, that is correct. You're indeed trapped. Uh, how about, how about you just dig these tiles? Yeah, because he didn't have any igneous rock to build the ladder with. That's uh, that's an interesting one. We still haven't got any polluted dirt yet. So the water is moving. 
so we are going to start getting our oxygen fairly soon. So we definitely haven't run into any immediate problems, which is always good. We, we, we have started with an unusual amount of hatches on this map. So I think this is a really good start. We haven't found any more water. There is salt water. And I think the plan... I think the plan for salt water on this map in general is just to... Uh, it's just to dump it on the... Just to dump it on the iron volcanoes. So, uh, how's this all going? I'm gonna set... Yeah. I'll set you both to researching, because you've got the skill. I'll set you to farming as well, because we do need to get these planted. We'll get some, we'll get some more seeds. There's loads of plants planted around. So we'll dig these up. Because we're going to want every oxyfern hooked up to this, ideally. I'll put those three there as well. We're probably going to be alright extending this out here, but I just want to make sure there's plenty of uh, gas, uh, room for the gas to escape as well. Yeah, so we'll dig that out. Yeah, so we've got our first ox ferns up, so each dupe requires about 3.3 oxy ferns uh, to breathe. So 10 will be enough for three dupes, and we'll need 20 for six dupes. And we've got three dupes for now, so we'll just put in We'll put in as many as we can find. That's probably going to be just over 10. We've got 14 tiles here that we can do with that. I'm going to keep this one for a door because that's where we'll put a door most likely if we turn this into a, a regular farm or something in the future. You're gonna you're gonna end up trapping yourself somehow, aren't you? Like, you actually you probably won't hear because you can just go down the ladder. But these guys do trap themselves an awful lot. Um, okay, so yeah, you. Oh my god, are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Get up, get up, and go to sleep in the bed, please. <laughs> You've got the saw back. Um, you're not gonna fall asleep right next to the bed. I won't allow it. <laughs> Let's keep an eye on you. So your stamina's going down. And then when it reaches zero, you're going to go back to uh, the bedroom. I think. Yeah, there you go. This time. Okay. Maybe I've forgotten how this works. <laughs> You're going to move here. You're going to run out of stamina. You're going to get the urge to sleep. You're going to sleep in your bed. Instead of doing whatever you're actually doing. I'm curious as to whether this is actually going to work or not. Right. You're tired. So why are you going to sleep? Why are you going to sleep on the tile instead of in the bed? Ah, uh, okay. Alright, forget it. That, that one's my bad. You, you, you just fall asleep right next to the bed then. I don't think there's any way I can actually get you to get in the bed. Unless I set you specifically to a bedtime shift. And at this point, I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to leave you to it. 
<laughs> I'm just going to leave you to it and hopefully uh, no one misses their sleep shifts again. Yeah, it's going all right. Um, we're getting our oxy ferns up. So oxygen should be sorting itself out. We need all the CO2 to get down here, really. So we're going to want a ladder here. Actually, how wide is this bit? So that's, yeah, so that's where the door will be. So this is where the ladder will be. So we'll just ladder that and then we'll get the oxyfern seed from there. But yeah, this this pump doesn't have to be continuous because these plants these plants won't consume a huge amount of water. They'll consume uh, 19 kilograms per cycle. That's an odd number. It's not really a huge amount. I mean, eventually we'll have to hook it up with some actual relatively cold water, but for now we're fine. How's everyone doing? Yeah, you still need to be delivering food here, but no one's... No one's prioritizing that, so we need at least one person to prioritize that, I think. Uh, let's get Rowan to do that, because he's probably not going to have a huge amount of other skilled work to do. Hopefully no one misses their bedtime shift this time. I think the reason they were missing the bedtime shift is because the food isn't in the mess hall. All the food is just randomly around the map at the moment. Yeah, so you missed your sleep. Yeah. Yeah, so make sure to get this filled up. Maybe this is... Uh, I think this is partly the fault of me setting building to uh, one general priority level higher, but I still think that's worthwhile. I don't think there's ever going to be something where... I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it like it is for now. If people just keep missing their shifts, I don't think people need more downtime yet, and I'd rather not do that unless I have to. I'm quite I'm quite pleased because the pips haven't been making a mess of this whole area. We've been planting the seeds right away, so so no issues with that. Although we're now out of those seeds, so we'll need to go uproot some more plants. Uh, I, I think I think you can find buried oxyfern seeds. Um, I'm not a hundred percent certain. I we'll definitely want to go in here grab these yeah these pips are going to be start being nuisances if we are uh, leaving empty plots but yeah these plants do consume dirt as well for fertilizer and they consume they consume four kilograms per cycle so that's not a big problem So we found some iron ore. Oh yeah, because we dug this out. Yeah. We want to get insulated tiles at some point so we can block this off and just let it slowly fill with the salt water. Because we want it we want like a little bit of salt water on the bottom, but not enough to stop it from erupting. And I think it's just this tile here. So we can have the whole bottom layer be filled with salt water. 
and so long as the second tile up here, the iron can come out of that, then that will be fine. We'll need a, need a little pipe there. I think, I don't think we're going to have any more seeds in this. So that's 14. There's 14, that's the left of the four dupes. It's not a lot. It's not a lot, but it is more or less free. So we can use it to start off with while we're getting uh, everything else set up. Is there any algae anywhere? There's a very, very small amount here. But no, that, that is it so far. I think we're starting to get some decent pressure going. I think I'm going to want to just dig all of this out so the ox can, oxygen can float up freely as well. So we'll just do that for now. Get rid of that tile now. So we need three more seeds. So how many more do we have access to? We have one. We have two. And put this ladder there. And we've got three because we can get over here. There's more over here as well. I think I'm just going to extend this for now. I don't think we're going to put a door in. I don't think there's any point putting a door in this area. Could have probably built it a bit further down, but I'm just aware we've got the uranium here. Oh, there's more seeds here, though. Hmm. Oh, I'm just trying to think about what to do, because I don't want the, the plants to get too hot. Okay, so no more hatches. So plus 14 building is crazy. Decreased husbandry is not necessarily a problem. Mouth breather. Now, mouth breather is super, super bad because that is like... They're going to consume twice as much oxygen as normal. So this is effectively two dupes. So... Oh, that's annoying. Because the thing is, he's going to build like four times faster than everyone else. And he's only going to consume twice the air. So part of me thinks it's almost worth it. Man. Nah, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just go into salt water. We'll pour that on top of the volcano. probably just extend this whole area out a little bit. There's only one little tile of hydrogen there. Some oxygen. There's some, there's some stuff that we want in there. And it's not too hot. I think that's tolerable. Now, now that we've actually got these up and running, I'm probably going to want to start Hiring more dupes again. There's another geyser. Okay. I 
This biome actually extends quite a way over here. We are going to want to get in here to uh, grab these seeds. But I'll block it up again so that we don't get all the CO2. Is that getting filled at all? Not really. So that's supplying. Oh, I didn't give anyone supplying priority. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. I mean, I would argue that's storing. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Just as long as we've got some food in there so that people aren't... Uh, Getting exhausted again. So why aren't these growing? They're not getting enough water because no one's no one's running the generator. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. People will run the generator later, and uh, and we're gonna get we're gonna get coal sorted. We're gonna get uh, the natural gas sorted. The natural gas is gonna take a little while. How many tiles have we got to that natural gas from here? We've got twenty-seven. So I think what I'll do is I'll make this. Although actually, we've got the iron volcano here as well. Well, that's probably more relevant. How many tiles we got here then? So we've got 25. So I think this is going to be where we put the ranch block. Because ultimately that's going to be constrained by the volcano. Yeah, because we'll put a door there, then we'll have 24 tiles. And this will just be walled off, like insulated tiles. Fun noises. Um, yeah. So, yeah, th this is where we're going to eventually put all of the ranches. I think. Oh yeah, these need doing. So we do not currently have a cleaner, so that is going to be uh, you again, Rowan. Sorry. <laughs> so, yep, we'll just we'll just continue to speed on. Everyone got to sleep on time this time. I think we'll make sure to put the uh, the polluted dirt. Uh, in here, so it doesn't off-gas. It's going to off-gas a tiny bit, but they'll breathe in a tiny bit, so I'm not super worried. <laughs> it's not a very fun task, is it, Rowan? I wonder if the speed of cleaning the outhouse goes up with your strength uh, skill. I mean, I could get a light in here as well, but I don't tend to put lights in here until the automation. All the shine bugs are just hanging out over there. They're not really uh, doing anything. So, polluted dirt uh, nine. So this is a this is a storing errand. So that can be a high priority for you as well. Life support supply to grab. So that's dirt for the oxy ferns. No? Okay, I'm not 100% sure about that. Okay, let's set this to 8 because you definitely need to do the polluted dirt first before we get a load of said oxygen. Oh, 
Although somehow we didn't actually get any off gassing. Probably because the oxygen pressure is pretty decent. But that's good. Uh, we got some meal ice somewhere, so somehow one of those plants actually uh, yielded some meal ice, but that's not going to last because all of this air is above 30 degrees. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be no farms. No farms, just ranches. Ugh. Do need people running on the uh, generator occasionally. How much coal do we have? Not a lot. We're gonna we're gonna go in here, aren't we? We're gonna go in here, so we'll dig this, get some coal. It's not too hot in there. And then we'll probably set up a coal plant and uh, just run that. We could probably start putting a hatch ranch together. I think that I think I'd put the hatch ranch at this level, so that I can get the uh, so I can get the uh, CO2 to just run off. That's going to mean breaking into the natural gas geyser and then uh, dealing with all that mess. So maybe I just put it at this level. So we need we need 25 tiles for that. We're probably going to end up breaking into it anyways. We'll just be very careful. We'll just we'll just tile away. We'll just tile away, block it off, and we'll have we'll have some kind of exit that will lead to this area where it's not going to be where it's going to be behind the insulated tiles, and it's not going to be the same atmosphere as what they're breathing in here. I don't mind the hydrogen leaking out because that always just goes straight to the top, so I'm not concerned about that at all. We will want all of this. So please do that. I feel like I'm slowly uh, fading into my chair. How long have we been going for? We've been going for about two hours. Uh, I'm probably going to take a, a quick break in like uh, 20 minutes. Um, just a very quick one. I'll come back. I'm getting hot because... Oh, because it's hot hydrogen. That's fine. Yeah, we do want the coal. Yeah, I'll just put in a standard hatch ranch here. The reason I'm not doing it here is because it won't quite fit to the 23 tiles. But the ranches are just kind of awkward for this general base layout. And then this this will be the the main living space, as it were. Yeah, let's just uh, speed this up a little bit. Go in here, we can extract these oxyferns. Got an achievement, probably for building something in a biome that's not a starting biome. Yeah, there we go. So we'll dig all of that. Uh, we might as well dig all of this. Just to maximize the gas flow. Although these are these are all just not running at the moment anyways, so 
Yeah, let's just do that. So we got some we got some lore. I think I've read all of this before, so I'm not gonna reread all of this, but it's always worth inspecting these because it will it will give you data banks and you need those later. Uh every little bit helps. Ooh, you're all together. Nice. And we've got some food in here, so that should make things nice and easy. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's going all right. It's quite grey outside today. It's been grey here all week, to be honest. It's not really a problem for me. I'm going to be seeing my sister tomorrow. She's coming up to Nottingham to uh, see me, because she's got the week booked off as well. It's her birthday recently. Um, and I'm going to see her after I get my tyre fixed, because I, I ding my tyre <laughs> at the weekend. Uh, I get aquarium stuff. So... Uh, I'm going to get that replaced, which is unfortunate. Did you actually get to sleep last night? No, you didn't. Hmm. Maybe it's time I add another downtime shift. So they've got enough time to do that. We are getting food up here, so that shouldn't be the problem. Where is everyone? Oh, you're going in here. That's fine. Probably gonna just set them to uproot all of the hexalent as well, just so that we have a a concrete idea of how much food we actually have to work with. Because uh, we need to get these ranches up and running before we run out of food. Because farms will not cut it on this map. We're probably going to want the, the hatch ranch up first, just because we've got so many eggs already. We've got another geyser over here as well. So we're going to want to get to that somehow. Although, I don't think we're going to be able to get in that side, so maybe we'll... Hmm. There's a little bit of chlorine up there. I'll just do that for now. We're, we're down a single seed, so it's probably just worth continuing to expand this over here. At this point, I might as well just do the full, the full expansion, if I can. And then that will be, yeah, that will be, that'll be twenty-four. It's quite a lot. That's enough for eight. Oh, not quite enough for eight. Probably seven dupes. Um, so we can probably start hiring dupes now. So what is everyone actually doing? I guess we're just sorting all this stuff out at the moment. No one is running on the generator because everyone's building stuff. Yeah, I think that the next time I get a, a good builder that isn't a mouth breather, I will uh, 
I'll go for them. Because I think we just need more people to start building stuff. Or we need, we need like a building specialist that we can just tell to do everything and then everyone else can do all the other mixed tasks. We'll want to deconstruct all of this. It's funny, these are uh, these gravitas tiles don't give the run speed bonus, but they give double decor. So in some cases it can be worth leaving them in, but um, I'm just not gonna bother. <laughs> So we've got our shine bugs floating around. Are they producing too much light for the bedrooms? Probably not. I'll leave this one. Yeah, and then we'll just we'll get someone to run on the power power thing and just get more water in here um, afterwards. Yeah, I'm just gonna speed through it now. How long are these eggs gonna take to hatch? They're incubating five percent per day, so they will be ready in twelve days. So we're we're going to want the hatch ranch up by then. We're probably going to want it up a bit sooner. I want to dig that out as well. People are going to get to bed? They should, because I gave them an extra downtime slot. You're going to the loo. Oh, oh, we've got a shine bug in here. Excellent. Okay. Oh, are you going to have time to go to sleep? Yeah, you are. Okay, that's good. So what's, what's the light like on you? Oh, okay. That's just about working out. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So if we get a fourth dupe, they're potentially going to get shined on. Maybe we should swap this around so the battery's over here and then... Uh... I'll do that later once we get a fourth dupe. It's more important stuff that needs to be done at the moment. I know exactly what's going to happen. You're going to you're going to dig that tile. You're going to fall on here, and you're going to be trapped. No? Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> I like being wrong. Why is it just a random pipe there? Yeah, the only thing is this construction is taking a while because I don't have a proper builder. We don't have a proper builder, and all of the uh, you know, all the oxygen's gone out of there now. So it is just CO2 down here. But the gases are actually equalizing pretty well in the in the base now. It's just this area here where they're currently doing all of the work that's being annoying. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Uh, hopefully we'll get a good builder this time that doesn't have mouth breather. 
I mean, it may have been worth taking him, even with the Mouth Breather, because plus 14 construction is a lot. And we do actually have enough Oxyferns to handle that. So we need six more seeds. So we've got one over here, got one over here. Uh, I think that may actually be it. I think we uh, may have overegged it slightly. But that's fine, we'll get more in the, the future. So I'll set these to one. In fact, actually, what we'll do at the moment is we'll just block these with ladders so that pips don't plant random uh, things in them. And then when we get more uh, Oxyfern seeds, we will uh, we'll go back and add them. Oh no, we got one, two, three. Okay, I miscounted. That's fine. Uh, uh, bu -bu -bu. So I want to dig across. So floor, floor, floor. I think I'm just going to dig this one underneath and then just uproot the seed. And then that should be... That should be everything. Yeah, we're getting all this stuff revealed. Right. <laughs> pip eggs. I don't think we need pip eggs. <laughs> Increased cooking. Decreased cooking. Great. Uh, these guys are pretty bad. <laughs> Increased cooking. Decreased cooking. The equilibrium of nature. I don't think any of these guys are worth taking. I think I'm just going to take the pip eggs. It's sad. I'm at the point where I'd like to hire an extra dupe because <laughs> we currently have enough excellent uh, fruit alone to last 30 cycles, these guys. Oh, we need to get across here as well. Fine. So, how much of this stuff can we inspect? So, there is a stethoscope. <laughs> a stethoscope E! <laughs> they, they, uh, uh, they could have, they could have, um, sorted that word out a bit better. Got a filing cabinet. That's about it. Got some data, data packs from that. Okay, so you're running on the wheel again, which is a good sign. Oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it, man. No. <laughs> Stop it. So that should get the water pumping again. And that should get the oxygen going again. Here. Yeah. And slowly consume all of this CO2. Yeah, so we're, we're definitely at a good point, but we just need to find a dupe that doesn't have just some kind of stupid, conflicting, useless stat spread or major disadvantage. And then we'll just start hiring dupes again. We're going to want any more research. We're going to want 
We're going to want all the ranch-related stuff. We're going to want uh, coal generators. Um, we're going to want the... We're going to want the automation as well. Let's start with the ranching. Because if nothing else, I want to set up the little bit over here first. Um... And I'm just going to tile this preemptively as well. Just to prevent any shenanigans with the water. Although I imagine that will dissipate fairly quickly. And this granite isn't going to retain a lot of heat, so we'll just we'll just dig straight through that. But yeah, I think we'll start putting the hatch ranch here. Um, we will need to be careful to not let any natural gas into the base. <laughs> I'm just going to try very hard not to let any stray gases enter the base because that was a huge annoyance last time. Although, to be fair, that was just the polluted gas, polluted oxygen map in a nutshell, really. I don't mind the hydrogen because that just rises straight up. That's fairly easy to manage. But I just don't want a lot of this mixture. Like, if you get the... C like, with just the oxygen and CO2, it's all right. Because it's two phases. And it works fairly well within the game system. But if you have three phases, it starts mixing in a kind of turbulent way with the boundary layer. And it's just very uh, annoying. Like everything will be stifling on and off. And yeah, last time I, I had a liquid lock on my uh, natural gas, but it broke. And we ended up with quite a decent layer. And we also had a chlorine vent that uh, we had a liquid lock on, and that broke. So, uh, yeah. None of that, please. So far, no polluted oxygen, so that's a bit better than last time. But yeah, we got oxygen. Um, we've got loads of wild food. Uh, but the map is too hot for the mealwood, so we're just going to ranch. We're going to ranch pips. We're going to ranch... Um, the Dracos are going to ranch the, the hatches, and that's what we're going to do for food. I like starting with the pips if I can, because because then we uh, get the we can consume the the bathroom output with the arbitrary, and also the pips. Um, it's more calorie efficient to just turn them into omelets. Um, rather than just leaving the eggs to hatch and then waiting for the hatches to die or, or drowning them or whatever. Uh, pit branching for food is just less hassle, but hatches have obvious benefits and we've somehow ended up with five of them on this map. And normally I don't think you're supposed to get any, so hatches are the first thing to do. Uh, I just enjoy having my week off. I know, I know it was only Christmas, well, a couple of weeks ago, but I'm <laughs> work has been absolutely manic for the last three weeks because we've just been getting, uh, we've just been catching up with all of the backlog from various people taking their Christmas holidays, and uh, I've got a site visit next um, next week, so that's going to be that's going to be even more work. So I'm just enjoying taking some time off. Uh, yeah, we're going to want to set up a proper bathroom as well. Uh, probably makes more sense to have the bathrooms... Have a bathroom here. And then have the pit branch here. Because then we're going to have the tree right next to the bathroom. I think that does make sense. So let's let's do that. This is where we'll set up the actual bathroom and we'll leave the outhouses here for now just so that there's no there's no transitionary issues.
Yep, so we're grabbing the oxy fans. That's all good. We've actually got a decent amount of power. I mean, we're not consuming a lot. And I think we're definitely going to go for the coal first. <sighs> Is it worth making this a bathroom here and then putting the, the pips here? Then the hatches down here. I, I do like that better. I do like that better, just so that the CO2 from the coal plants is just rolling down here. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because we're gonna we're gonna ladder all of this anyways. And the, both the pit branch and the hatch branch are going to take up the same amount of space. And they're both going to require me breaking into this natural gas area to uh, sort it out. Yeah, there we go. We got our final oxyphern in place. Let me know if you do see any more uh, plants. Oh no, we've got one more. Ah, we've got one more. Okay. Sounds good. I've just got a fair amount of building work queued up, but not everyone's doing it. Did I change all the priorities? I did not, so people should be prioritizing that, but I think people have more important things to do. So the digger is digging. There's still some farming related tasks going on. Mostly just to do with these oxyferns. We're getting loads of oxygen here now. Pressure's getting good. There's a bit of a CO2 trap in here. I'm not really worried about that. We found a lot of we found a lot of hexalent. Are there any more of those? Or is that literally it? There's one more over here. And then that's it. That's the food we've got to work off until we've got the ranches set up. We do have more squeaky puffs. And this is CO2, so we could break in here fairly easily. We can get some puffs too, but we don't have any polluted oxygen. We're not planning on getting any polluted oxygen. We do have chlorine. We don't have renewable chlorine. God, that, that's a bit of a desperate situation, isn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah. I think there was one map where I tried to start my food industry with squeaky puffs because I was right next to a chlorine vent <laughs> and I thought that would be the best solution but um, I, I don't think it was I don't think that map lasted very long I don't really want to break into this region yet because there's more annoying gases here. <sighs> so... Yeah, I think it makes sense to have the bathroom here and then the pips here. I could even just put the, the hatch ranch up here. Yeah, and just ha have each bathroom go to its own pip ranch. That seems reasonable. So I'd have two pip ranches down here and one hatch ranch up here. 
I mean, the CO2 situation would be a bit less convenient uh, for that. But I don't think that's really a problem. So yeah, I'm just going to speed to it and they can hurry up with these tasks. They've got at least 33 cycles of food. So I'm not super worried about their well-being. They've certainly had a bit of an easier start than the last lot of people. Okay, so we got a skill point. Uh, that would be our digger. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Just in time, because we're just going to start breaking through all this abyss light. And that's why I usually pick digging instead of building, just to make sure that we can do that. But, um... I am feeling the lack of any construction skill. I think the construction is currently our main bottleneck. But people are doing fine. I'm just going to move the bedrooms up here, or the barracks up here. As well. Why did I tell them to delete that ladder? I did not need to do that. But yeah, we, we're getting plenty of oxygen. Not going to run out of stuff anytime soon. So yeah, I'll move the battery over here. That way the dupes won't get shined on. And we got research too. I wonder why astronomy doesn't give science. I feel like that's... I guess that would be way too much science on the skill tree in general. We'll want geographical analysis. Because we're going to want to... We're going to want to analyze this fairly soon. And we're going to want to analyze the iron volcano fairly soon. And I think there's another iron volcano here. But we're not going to break into that for a while. Yeah, just speeding through at the moment. Not really, uh, not really a huge amount going on. People have survived fairly well. What, what are the temperatures looking like? I mean, this area is fairly hot, but again, so long as this area doesn't get above 40, we'll be fine. And oh, this is getting close to 40. This biome is a little hotter than uh, I gave it credit for. These geysers do actually start off cold somehow. This uranium is very cold. It's probably not retaining a super large amount of heat, though. So this hatch ranch is going to be... Ah, so that's 24 exactly. 
which isn't going to be quite enough because we're going to be separating off the hatches a little bit. So this isn't really usable for a hatch ranch. Ugh. I don't really want to move the doors one tile over because I want this to be like the sort of main access shoot later, so maybe we'll just leave this for now. So we won't put a hatch ranch here. Maybe this will be the the uh, Draco glossy Draco ranch or something. So we'll want we'll want that as a minimum. It should be fine. I don't mind breaking into the hydrogen because that will solve itself. So let's let's up the priority on this just to see how that goes. Okay, I'll just speed it through now. Yeah, I'm starting to get an idea of how this base is going to actually get laid out. We will want to move everyone out of here. Wow, these do suck down the water quite quickly. I mean, we're getting a lot of oxygen, so that's good. It is getting consumed in there. <laughs> this pip is just like, I want to be in the ranch. Let, let me be ranched. Oh yeah, if this is going to be the pit branch, then we don't need to... Oh no. We're going to need one of them to be the hatch ranches. So this will... Ah. Uh, how am I laying this out again? I think they'll both need to be 25 wide. I think maybe to have this be the hatch ranch, and then this just be all bathrooms, and then that'll be all the bathrooms for the base, and then that'll hook up here. And then we'll just keep extending this down with pips as we need to. So can you build that tile there? Yes, you can. Excellent. Yeah, I just want to make sure I do this correctly so that the natural gas doesn't uh, leak out. I don't really mind the hydrogen leaking out because that's fairly well behaved. <laughs> You're right. Just having a having a chill in the hole. 
No, seriously, what are you... Oh, okay. It's <laughs> kind of a weird one. Yeah, I think we've... I think we've done this correctly. It's a little bit of CO2 floating around, but nothing... It's actually a problem. We can probably tape this up fairly easily and put in another arch. Okay, we got ranching. That's good, because we're just about to start that. We can deconstruct this. Let's priority nine uh, this construction as well. And then we can just start putting in all the hatch infrastructure. So yeah, I'm going to want to tile all of this, aren't I? So... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. It's probably not correct to deconstruct that just yet. Let's dig this as well, and then we can build this tile. Because we want this, we want this to be tiled so we can tile all of this freely. And start digging that out as well. I think we'll get I think we'll get through this water fairly quickly. These these plants suck down a lot of water. Oh uh hold on. Hold your horses. Cancel these. You can dig the others. And we're going to want a typical approach, which is this. So that it's all technically one room, but the hatches just wander around in this bottom part. And they uh, stay well behaved. Okay. Give me some more construction. <laughs> building. Decrease building. Love it. Cannot build. Um, okay. Man, these guys are just not very good. I don't really want anyone with critter aversion either because... Uh, I don't know, he's not going to be branching, is he? Having having just a, a, a fallback operator is probably a good thing. He does have some decent good perks. I think I'm just going to pick Harold. Because we need more people. So Harold can be the the operator. But what that actually means is I'm going to start him off with building. And he's going to become the mechatronics guy. Uh, I don't know. I'll start him off with operating. So he can make sure to do all that. So at the very least, he will be running on the generator. So that will help everyone else. So everyone's up there now, so we can deconstruct this. In fact, deconstruct this right away, please. I don't want you filling this battery up if we're going to move it to the other side. Uh, that should also be priority now. Oh, wait, I don't need to cancel these two. So we'll have enough beds for eight people here 
we're not gonna have eight people right away um but that feels like a reason reasonable amount of bedroom space to allocate at the moment in the base just in case we want to hire anyone else we are going to want to investigate all these geysers But this one isn't going to happen until we get the uh, super duper hard digging. Okay, we got ranch stuff. So... Uh, how did that happen? God damn it. Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I... Uh, how did that happen? I'm gonna reload that and just speed through this. Oh, that means we're probably... Oh, are, we, are we not gonna get the same dude doing that? How did that even happen? Oh, that's annoying. We've lost a lot of uh, a lot of progress on that. Right, we're just not going to dig any of this until this is done up here. I think I just gave him too many things to do. Uh, it's because of this one dirt tile. So it must have broken through that one dirt tile before uh, anything else happened. We didn't get a water leak there. So this should be fine. We shouldn't get pressure tile there. Or pressure. Uh, <laughs> pressure, pressure. There, right. You've got ranching again. Yeah, we're going to end up with a, a different dupe. Oh, that's annoying. Sorry, Harold. It wasn't meant to be. I don't want... The reason I did reload that is because I really don't want this water going anywhere else. Because we need this for the oxygen. That's not really negotiable. I might just make this a door, just so I can let the guy back in. So 25, so yeah, yeah I do want it there. Right, I guess, I guess we'll see who uh, we get. So we're going to want to dig all of those tiles out as well. <sighs> yeah, let's just see who our um, other dupe friend is. I'm hoping it'll be the same, because it feels a bit cheesy reloading that. It's just because I wasn't paying attention with the dirt here. <laughs> he dissolved that tile with his mind. What are you up to?
Got to make sure there's no natural gas leak either. So I'm going to want to replace that tile now. So that one can get replaced. Ah, we did get different dupes. Well, that's unfortunate. What a weird perk. Do we do we want a loud snorer? I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. And having the masterworks skill means we don't need a decorator. I think we'll go with Marie because we want an operator, and just having the masterwork skill means we don't have to hire someone in skill with it to decorating. So there you go, you're an honorary Harold. So, yeah, you'll just get operating. And priorities. Operating and decorating and everyone else... Everyone else is not going to do that. And you'll be the pilot as well. I mean, your skill isn't very high, but what does that actually mean? It's just decorating speed. That's fine. You can be slow at decorating, but so long as you're actually properly decorating, that's the important thing. So that means we can actually uh, we can actually replace the plant with uh, something else. That's pretty good. I mean, there's no real need at the moment because we've got plenty of seeds. So I'm probably not even going to worry about that. Yeah, that's fine. Ugh. I think Harold was a bit better overall. Um, what we'll do at the moment, because we're not planning on expanding too much with the dupes, is we'll have everyone else go up here. And then we'll have Marie stay down here. Mm, that should be sufficient. Right, so that's the food stuff again. Yeah, so you can go... Uh, oh yeah, you can go there. I'm just being silly now, don't mind me. Right, um, then we'll get that battery hooked up. So we'll have two batteries. Yep. And then we can dig these tiles. Oh, we, we didn't need that in the end because the pip escaped. It's fine. Well, we don't need to deconstruct that. We just won't go through there. Okay. Uh, that's not bad. So this will be the hat hatch ranch. So we'll do what we did before. So food. Oh no, stations. So station that up. Uh, we'll need a critter feeder. Need a critter drop off. And I think that's it. I mean, we'll put in all the automation stuff afterwards. But, um... Yeah, hatches are relatively simple. So we'll want the smart batteries as well. Okay, we'll want coal and we'll want smart batteries. And then we'll want conductive wire. So we'll continue doing all that research. <laughs> you having fun? Right, um, 
on that note, I'm actually going to, once everyone's in bed, I'm actually going to take a quick break. Uh, just get some food. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so we'll save that. And uh, we will go on intermission. So I will see you in about... Um, I'll see you in about five or ten minutes. So I'll, uh, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I uh, <laughs> just spilled yogurt myself, so uh, great. Um, let's let's go back to the game. 
Right, so, um... Yeah, we've got some polluted water now because the wash basins have been used. So, I need to put that somewhere. Where exactly am I going to put that? I don't want it to off-gas. I could just put it... Now, there's going to be a load of CO2 down here, so I'll just dump all the polluted water down here. We'll pump it later. I don't think there's really anywhere else in the map I want to dump it. Hmm. And then we'll want to start getting the, the hatches in here and get all the coal set up. So these eggs will be pretty close to hatching. About eight days left. We want to complete um, this bit up here because we're going to relocate, or we're going to build the actual bathroom here. Um, So I guess to hook it up, we'll just hook, we'll just hook it up directly for now. Then the polluted water will go up here. Go over, and it will go down. Yeah, we won't need a feeder, but we will need a tree. So actually, I should build this. If I build this six tiles, I'll build it seven tiles out. Um, and then, no, I'll, I, I can keep the hatch one at five. Because it doesn't need to be a huge amount of stuff in there for the hatches. And for the pips, we'll do it seven out. For the pips, we'll need to do um, a liquid, uh, a, a liquid block as well. So, or just a liquid tile up here, so, so they don't wander around up here. I think that's what you need to do. But uh, do that later. We will do that later. Oh, and we'll need the research for the uh, bathrooms. <laughs> Pips make stupid noises. So we'll dig out all of that as well. This could be hatches, hatchlings. We'll set this to eight. Get these done, and then so this is the twenty-five by four block. So we'll need a. We'll want to keep this tile here. So we'll put that in afterwards, and then that'll do. Okay, so we've got coal. So we're going to try and get... We're going to try and get sage hatches. Sorry, just just my microphone a little bit. So we're going to try and get sage hatches, um, eventually. And from what I remember, because the sage hatches are producing, um, so they're converting dirt straight into coal, 100% efficiency. So they're producing 140 kilograms per cycle of coal. So the whole ranch will produce about 1.1 kilograms, or 1.1 tons 
of coal per cycle. So I'll produce 1.1 tons per cycle, so that's about 20 kilograms per second. No, that can't be right. Can it? What do these things eat? How much do they eat? Yeah, so they eat 140 kilograms per cycle of dirt, and they excrete. So that's going to be a quarter of a kilogram per second. Times eight, that's two kilograms per second. And that's enough for two coal plants. So what we'll do is we'll run this off regular hatches. We'll have one coal plant, but we'll... Uh, We'll set up the infrastructure for two. So we'll have a battery there. And I think we'll just do the we'll just put the coal plants here. I think it's an easy to overthink it. We'll need the conductive wire as well. And eventually with the mechatronics we'll just ship the coal straight in here and we'll probably have some kilns or something as well. Um, probably worth putting in just a storage bin as well. We can put the... We just make it so they collect all the coal on the map and put it in here. Yeah, I think that's worth doing. Everyone's researching at the moment. This is fair. Oh, have I got? <laughs> have I set the priorities such that everyone is just in a research supplying loop? Maybe. I should uh, enable proximity as well. I mean, we do have a fair amount of research to do, so I don't mind them mostly focusing on research at the moment. Uh, we need the polluted water to go in here. That is off-gassing, but it's not a huge amount. People will breathe it. It's not germy. At least I don't think it's germy. No. So that's fine. We'll just breathe that. And uh, I think next we'll just research. Well, we'll want the conductive wire as well. We still need to get some metal though. Right, let's. I think we can start to uncover this. Mm, although that's going to get very hot very quickly. Maybe I just need to start with the the rock crusher. I mean, eventually we're going to have two coal plants in here. And we'll probably have a kiln as well. So, smart battery, coal, coal, kiln. But let's just put the kiln in now. Do we have... We don't have that yet, do we? No. Okay. Put the kiln in later. And then... Uh, light, light, rock crusher, and then we've got three tiles over here for something. And we still need to research the rock crusher. Oh, there's no, there's no refined metal lying anywhere, is there? There is, actually. There's a tiny bit of lead here. So how much is that going to be? That's going to be... Once it's mined, that's 50 kilograms of tar, so it's going to be 500 kilograms of refined metal.
Probably don't actually need refined metal for the... Hmm. I don't really want to use lead though, because this room's going to get a bit hot at the start. I'm probably safest just doing it with the rock crusher for now. Yeah, so we've done the pollutive water in here. It's not going to evaporate because the CO2 pressure down here is going to be huge. Yeah, no, that's good. So we've got pretty much a CO2 free base. I don't want to put the food down there. So let's, uh, let's fill this with dirt. We'll feed these hatches off dirt. We'll get this stuff done as priority nine. So, yeah, that's a smart battery. You need a rock crusher for that. Uh, we may as well just set the bathroom loop up first, because that doesn't require refined metals. So we'll go for sanitation and then water sieve. Yeah, and I think we'll put the water sieve over here somewhere. So, grooming station, critter drop-off, something, tree. So this will be the hydroponic time. And we'll want that to be bathroom water. Although we want it to be the excess, so let's wait until we get the water sieve before we hook that up. Fill this with coal. Uh, let's keep that a fairly low priority. Put that tile in just to finish off the room. Right, so this is a ranch now, so we should start wrangling the hatches. And we'll we'll put the, the hatch eggs in here just for now. I love I love the wrangling guns. <laughs> like just wrapping just wrapping up them up in the little gun. It's really, really cute. <laughs> Stupid hatches. There's the other hatch. Isn't there another hatch somewhere? I thought we had more hatches than that. Oh, he may have just been an old hatch. He did lay an egg. I don't think anyone ate any meat, did they? Because this is the fresh hatch. So I think the hatch we found was just quite old, but he did at least lay an egg and replace himself. Or perhaps he's burrowed over here somewhere. Oh yeah, 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 he's burrowed. Okay. <laughs> I actually forgot that they do that. <laughs> it's a sign that I haven't played a hatch map in a while. Right. I think I'll set it so you just have to go in this way. 
come out the other way. So... Medicine. So I'll put the sinks in like that. I mean, what, I, what I'll actually do is I'll, uh, I'll move this pipe up here. And then eventually this will be its own separate loop. So we're going to need water filtration. Or distillation. Rather, so we can get the water sieve. Do we have sand? We do have sand. We have, <coughs> we have an extremely small amount of sand. Uh, we're going to go, need to go dig some of that. I think that's mostly what we're looking for in that list. I'll put phosphorite in there as well. I might just build another one of these preemptively and just uh, not hook it up for now. Yep, there you go. Um, we're presumably going to grab all the eggs. Yep, that's what you're doing. Yep, they're, so they're getting groomed as well. It's nice. Yes, yeah, so please just go and uh, grab the other egg. When you're uh, ready. When you're ready and then we'll do that. Ugh, I got myself a non-caffeine drink. Got myself these smoothies. I found out uh, I have the noodle arms trait. Wait. This is like tight. It's just completely tight. Like, there's no way I can. It's just not budging. Um. I will... I will... I'll be, uh... I'll be back in a sec. Just give me a second. <laughs> Hold on. Oh no, that's the wrong screen. Crap. <laughs> you didn't see that. Um, yeah, okay. I got it open. <laughs> I uh, just needed a little bit of a knife. Just a, just a little bit. 
Oh, and I forgot to shake it too. What I need to do is make sure I don't shake it when the lift is off. Lift is off. Otherwise, we will get lift off. It's actually quite nice. I haven't had that one before. It's nicer than I thought it would be. Okay, well, we, uh, we definitely don't need the sludge press on this map, which I'm quite relieved about. Quite like the kiln as well, just so I can put that in. But this will all come in due time. I think just getting the bathrooms up and running first is probably the best thing, just to save everyone's time. So those outhouses take ages to do. <laughs> Man, my arm is actually, my hand is actually warm now from from trying to remove that sodding lid. Okay, just build these tiles first, please. Thank you. Yeah, so we could we could fill all of these beds apart from this one, so that's good to know. We probably aren't going to want to go above seven dupes with the amount of uh, the amount of oxy ferns we have. So that deep seems like a decent plan. Can you uh, sweep this, please? Thank you. I appreciate it. Then we can let all these eggs out of the box. Yep, so that is six. That will be six out of eight in there. It's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to want to slowly claw this territory back from the geyser. I feel like that's going to take a while. Yeah, let's uh, let's speak to it. Everyone's doing all right. Well, loads of oxygen here. Situation is much cleaner than last time. And the the excess CO two down here is work as intended, in stopping the polluted gas from uh, polluted water from off gassing, which I do appreciate a lot. So these doors are going to be. That way only. We have actually got shine bugs in here as well, which is good. Because uh, that will help them. Stupid pip. <laughs> Why you do this? I'm going to want to um, just 
plant the tree here. Plant the tree. So, how much polluted water does each tree consume again? So, 70 per cycle. So, I think each deep dupe produces about 7 kilograms per second uh, per cycle <laughs> of polluted water excess. So, I'm going to want one of these pit branches for every 10 dupes minimum to consume the polluted water. So I don't think I'm going to have a, a use for polluted water on this map, apart from the trees. So I think we'll just do that. Although we'll get some polluted water from the natural gas geyser as well. We'll want to get rid of that somehow. Yeah, there you go. Plant that. Put in another one of these. Another one of these. I'm actually going to deconstruct the storage bin and put the storage bin here. And we'll do that just in case you want to shuffle eggs in here. And then they'll be nice and symmetrical. Or not symmetrical, but aligned, I suppose. Man, that's taking longer than I thought it would sad. Yeah, we'll do that. Here we got. Got ice. Uh, cooling's always good. I think all of these dupes are pretty bad. Uh, or they have some bad disadvantages. So, yeah, I'm going to take the ice. And kind of conflicted about where to put that because oh, I'll, put, I'll put it in here. I'll put the liquid fireballs in here. Because that way it, it will definitely get consumed over time. Right, we'll need to get rid of that shine bug. We'll make a very small omelette out of you. So this will be for pips and pip squeaks. Let's break out this tile and uh, sort this out quickly. Do we have the airflow tiles now? We do have mesh tiles. Um, it's fine. We'll, we'll sort this out very quickly. We'll just put a little bit of salt water in here as the uh, as the thing that should prevent the guys from wandering over. We'll see how effective that ends up being. So because we've got four dupes now, that's gonna be that's gonna be about twenty-three cycles of food. It should still be fine. Because once we get the pit branch up and running, um, then uh, that'll be food sorted. So output is gonna be clean water. So polluted water goes. Yeah, polluted water goes in. And then if there's excess, it will go out and then into the tree. Yeah, okay. So it will do this. And then regular water oh actually yeah what I'll do is instead of that I'll do so 
So I'll do this. And then the regular water will go out here. We'll bridge over. And the reason I'm doing it like this is because I want to make sure it always goes through the water sieve first. And then I'll hook that up like that. We're almost there. Yeah, we're almost there. We've almost got our bathroom loop up. This will work. This will feed the pips. <sighs> the pips really do not require a lot of food. They just require the tree. The tree. Oh, I need another mess table in here. I might as well just put in three more. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry Marie. I uh, forgot about that. continue. Uh, what else do we need research-wise? We might as well just start getting everything. So we need the rock crush from the kiln. Yeah, that's perfect. Right, so we're just going to need a little blob of salt water. So, uh, yeah, please come over here and do that. Just a tiny blob. Yep. That will do. And then we need to sweep all of this up. So that... That should suffice as a liquid lock. For the pips. I mean, I guess we'll see. I'm pretty sure this is how I did it before, though. <laughs> I'm not sure you should be... Oh, there you go. Perfect. So, show navigation. Yeah, so he can't get out. So, that means that the ranch... The area is enclosed, so it should be operational now. Yeah, so we've got room size 80 tiles, yeah. We're, it's not going to get up to full capacity just yet because we're still going to expand it into the geyser area. Um, so, yeah, let's just start wrangling pips. So we might as well wrangle six. So this will be number four. Uh, this will be number five. This will be number six. I'm sure we'll find more. Yeah, so we're getting the ranches up pretty pretty quickly. I don't think we're going to need to... <laughs> it's making the noise now. Have they added that sound? I don't remember the pips making that noise. I hope they have. So, Kiln is going to go there. So then, Rock Crusher. Because this room is going to... These ranches are probably going to generate heat. We'll put heat uh, generating stuff here. We'll eventually insulate this and put, like, um, a cooling loop through this area specifically. But for now, I'm not super worried. How much power does this take again? <laughs> it's, that's such a weird noise. I'm, I'm really not used to it. Um, that's 240, so that's fine. It's going to be a bit rough while we get enough refined metal just for the thing. 
I really don't want to tap into this until we've got insulated tiles. In fact, that's probably the next thing we should do is insulated tiles. And then we can properly isolate this and get that to produce most of our refined metals. And then, what are we going to put here? I guess I'll just put the skill scrubber here. That's just a bit of an odd spot, but that's fine. So I believe this is all within the range of a single auto sweeper. We'll put the skill scrubber in just in case we need to scrub someone. Yeah, I think this is uh, I think this is getting there. Slowly filling the room with pips. Um, I'm gonna want that to be eight. But yeah, just putting that little blob of water there stops them from moving around. You don't need to do that for the hatches because they can't climb on the ceilings. But yeah, so this is a way of keeping all your critters close to the ranching station and then you can just put all the other normal equipment in the ranch. And then, so how much dirt are these, gonna, are these guys going to produce? So they're going to produce 20 kilograms per cycle. So each pit branch is going to feed one single sage hatch. <laughs> that that ain't good. Um, we're gonna need we're gonna need like seven to eight pit branches to have enough food for two sage hatches uh, for one sage hatch branch. We may do that. It's probably not worth it long run, but. I mean, the main reason we're doing this at the moment is just for the food. We're going to need a kitchen as well, and we're going to need a chef. Maybe I shouldn't have turned down all those chefs. Are they all <laughs> they were chefs, but they all had decreased cooking. Like, that's so bad. Yeah, six, six pips in here will be fine for now. Oh man, Sp spilling stuff on my desk. It's not good. Right, so this should be filling up. Yay! <laughs> Sparkly squirrel. This game is so goddamn cute. It never ceases to make me feel better. But yes, these do these dupes deserve all the good things after everything they had to put up with on the previous map. That's just painful. So right, that should be working now. So let's isolate the loop. Just deconstruct those two pipes. And we'll hook up the coal once we've got the automation. So don't we haven't got a lot of coal. We will get a lot of coal once uh, these guys eat. Or turn into sage hatches. We're not gonna we're not gonna end up with a lot of clay on this map. But I don't think that's gonna be a huge problem. Okay, you're using the bathroom. So I guess this is the test run. So this should just go into the water sieve. We do need a we do need to break the connection to the previous loop somewhat soon.
Yeah, so that's now full of polluted water, so the rest is going to go into the tree. Yep. There we go. Nice and easy. And what I'll do is I'll, if I, as I put more pit branches down here, because I think it's just going to be pips all the way down. At least, in, oh no, we've got a, another geyser here. Well, we're going to do a few pit branches here, and that should be enough to handle all the bath, bathroom water, <laughs> bath water. Right, so that's working, so I can just deconstruct this now. Yeah, so I think this is going pretty well. We just need the we just need a chef really. So what's the what's the loop gonna be like for these guys? They're gonna go to the bathroom, they're gonna go have food, and they're gonna go sleep. Or I'm probably just gonna keep stacking the bathrooms like this. So eventually it probably makes sense of the bedrooms up here and have like the the kitchen here or well, the kitchen here the mess hall here and then bedrooms so this is going to become a kitchen Yeah, so, yeah, we're getting the research done quickly. <laughs> They're all just like, well, our path is obstructed by 38 grams of salt water. I guess we'll turn around. Meow. <laughs> Are these supposed to be squirrels or cats? Pesky, non-hostile non critters. That subsist on the branches of arbor trees. I know, I know you can use pips to plant um, trees wild, but I'm not super interested in that. I'm mostly just interested in. Oh yeah, yeah. it's fine. I'm mostly just interested in consuming the the polluted water. That's the main purpose of this. Right, so this should be a closed system now. And this needs to be high priority. Life support. Because we do not want to run out of water in this loop. Thank you. We have sand. We, we have 2.5 uh, kilograms of sand. Right, we're going to need more sand. Uh, filtration medium. Wow, there's not a lot of sand. It, oh, okay. We're actually just going to have to dig these tiles for the sand. That is fine. Well, uh, priority 9 that, because we do not want the bathroom to run out because we run out of sand. It should work for a while. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's all the sand gone. <laughs> and we've got... We've got 500 grams of polluted dirt. Great. So we can dig this and we can dig that. Oh no, we don't want to dig that. We can dig that and then tile that. Oh, 
Right, I think we're there. So cycle 20, we've got plumbing, we've got a pit branch. We uh, we do not have consistent food yet, but that will change as soon as we get a chef. And the only thing is, we do actually need someone with the cooking skill. Uh, because we're going to be cooking the pip eggs and not the pips themselves. Yeah, this, this is a nice little self-contained system now, so that should just keep replenishing itself. I don't think there's any way this is ever going to go over capacity. set this rock crusher up fairly soon I think. Oh yeah let's uh, turn this back on. Put coal in here. So yeah let's uh, let's keep going. What's the temperature like? It's still just way too hot everywhere. I could just go and grab all this lead, but I really don't want to build anything out of lead up here, because I think the odds of this room getting past... Well, it shouldn't get past 40 degrees in here, so in all honesty, we should be fine putting in the lead battery, so let's do that. I'm not going to dig any of the uranium itself, but we will dig the lead. Uh, let's priority nine this because I want to get the coal power up and running. Well, I must admit, so far this seems like a much less challenging start than the previous one, provided that we get ranching right away, that we get the, the food up and running. Maybe I should have set the ranches up here. There would have been a lot more space for it. I mean, this water is going to deplete it eventually. Yeah, so we want eggshell to lime, always. I guess for now we're just going to dig the, um, the lead out. Yeah, this tree isn't growing yet, but we should be just using the bathrooms now. Or the lavatories, so... Once this loop fills up with water again, we'll start feeding the tree again. And that should be fairly soon, because each dupe is producing about 7 kilos per cycle, and each pipe segment is about 10 kilos. So it shouldn't take too long for this to back up. And these guys aren't going to starve immediately, so I'm fine with that outcome. There is more food over here as well. I should grab that. Uh, 
Let's just go in and do this. There's actually another Oxyfern in there as well. So I'll uproot that and uh, allow one of these to open again. Wow, we've actually got a lot of oxygen uh, pressure down there now. Why is it so high? I guess we're just producing way more oxygen than we actually uh, need. Right, so, uh, what do we do? Insulated tiles. Now, if we really need cooling, we can do the whole ice maker, icy fan loop. That is actually quite efficient for cooling, but I don't think we're going to need to bother. So, now I think we won... Uh, fire poles are always good. We're gonna, I don't think we need conductive wire yet. Man, I've actually forgotten what I was going to do. I think it was automation. We just need to get the lead. We need to get the lead out. <laughs> get the lead out of this bit. And that'll give us 500 kilograms of lead that we can do stuff with. So that will be... That will be one smart battery and then just some automation wire. We don't need any automation for here because we've got the shine bugs at the moment. So that will last for a while. I think these guys are self-replacing so it might just last forever. So I think it will just be to automate the light for this area. Yeah, because I, I definitely don't want shine bugs in here, so we'll definitely need a light in here. So... Lamp. Then we'll have the dupe sensor up here. And then we'll just automation wire them. Yeah, I don't think I have missed any other oxy ferns. Crush the eggs. Not these eggs. <laughs> the uh, hatched eggs. Why are you just loading it 240 kilograms? Of oh, because that's your carrying capacity. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we've got the uh, automation stuff. That was very quick. And we've got the lead, so... There we go. It's just a little bit radioactive. It's nothing, it's nothing major. So... It is nice that they just give you just a tiny amount of lead to start with. What is this achievement? Oh, right, because we deconstructed all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, as long as they don't actually start starving, we'll be fine. So, there is water in here. It's a vending machine. Now, we need to cook, really. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you're a farmer, but you've got decreased husbandry. I don't think that's very useful. Uh, I do like the joy of seeds. This person is probably fine. It's just a general dog's body. Those aren't exceptional stats, but we do just need a cook. Hmm. No, I'm going to wait for the next person, because... The only real thing we have here is the plus four agriculture, and we're not farming. So, yeah, I'm going to pick them. Uh, hopefully a better dupe will come up, but I'm just going to take the Joya Seeds. Having plants that don't worry about temperature is quite nice. Although, I mean, it's going to be super hot here anyways. We'll put a plant in there. We'll, uh... We'll need to automate this. So, yeah. Close up. And then we'll put in the... Oh yeah, we don't need the lights here. I'll put, I'll put them in anyways. Just in case the shine bugs die. That should work a bit better. Yeah, so we've got just about enough for that, and that should help people <laughs> go to the bathroom faster. Um, so yeah, we're slowly, slowly solving this. Yeah, these pips make more noise than I remember them making. It used to be very quiet. We're going to want to expand this out. No, I'm not sure why. <laughs> I'm not sure why I decided that all of these ranches should go in the area with all of the nasty gases. I mean, I don't mind the hydrogen. The hydrogen can stay. Um, so I guess we'll just demolish everything up to this point. And then we'll... And then we'll start uh, tiling everything. Put, I mean, does the Joya plant actually give more decor? I don't think it does. I think it's just less fussy. So you guys are going to want a recreation room as well. The, as far as I could tell, the best... The best item for that is the party line phone. That was, that was the best item from uh, earlier. The earlier playthrough. But I think that requires some advanced tech. No, it just requires notification systems. It's probably worth getting, because it's probably the the most cost effective um, recreation item. <laughs> and then we can have an actual recreation room. So I think what we're going to do long term is we're going to... Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we're going to put a lot of bathrooms here at some point. There's not a huge rush for that at the moment. You just kind of need a tile this area and start getting rid of all these uh, natural tiles. Did 
we excavate all the lead? We did. What's that doing some radiation? There's not a lot of radiation here. So I, I don't think this is actually a problem. Like, we're getting similar amounts of radiation from the shine bugs. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Hmm. Why did I disable this battery? Yeah, we'll keep the battery there. Although I don't think we're getting any shine bugs in this. Well, I think we're getting one shine bug in this area. So I guess we'll keep them there for now. Let's priority nine this, just so people aren't Oh, doing the manual labor. Um, yeah, so that can come out. And then we'll deconstruct this ladder and we'll put that oxy fern there. And then I think I'll deconstruct this one as well. And we'll, we'll deconstruct this hydroponic farm. And then that'll be... That will be 22 oxyferns, exactly. So that's probably enough for seven dupes. But we'll go with six for now, because we've got the, got the mess table. Yeah, finding that lead was a pretty good find. We have water weeds. Do these plants grow up to 65 degrees Celsius? So that is a farming option. But we just need, we do need salt water for that. We need salt water and we need bleach stone. And the salt water from a guise is going to be too hot, so. That's probably a long term thing. The bleach stone. The bleach stone always puts me off it because you, you're gonna run out of that unless you get squeaky puffs. Although we probably will get squeaky puffs. I guess it depends on whether we have a chlorine burn. Yeah, we're starting to get this build, but man, these this construction just takes so long because we don't have a proper builder. Yeah, I think this is going pretty well. It's been a very uh, straightforward uh, run so far. No real issues. So, probably not the most thrilling <laughs> content, but I'm just enjoying relaxing because last week was absolutely pathetic. And I'm going to have a very busy week next week as well because I've just got the. Um, I've got a site visit to Scotland. I'm going to uh, investigate the Fergus gas terminal. Um, we've been doing a lot of building work up there. A lot of um, all the actuators for the natural gas there are being replaced. And I've been designing the um, civil supports for those new actuators. So there's been lots to do. And that project has kept me busy since 2020. <laughs> it's a big site. Um, but it's actually wrapping up. So this might be one of the last site visits I do. So I'm quite, I'm quite looking forward to going to uh, Scotland, but it's, it's going to be manic. It's going to be a really hectic week and uh, probably quite stressful because things are falling a tiny bit behind schedule, uh, just in general with that area. But <laughs> it's not too bad. This natural gas is kind of winding me up, but um, it's fine. Everyone will get. All the stuff sorted, and then we'll uh, we'll start block taking back the space in this area. I will want to uh, put in another pip pip branch here, though. I think the more of those I can get, the better, because that's those pip branches are going to be my main uh, food sources.
I'm going to need to uh, take a quick break in half an hour. But I will be back shortly thereafter. Right. <laughs> yes, because I've got this week off, but my girlfriend doesn't. And we're, we're trying to get our oven replaced because it went clunk and <laughs> no longer works. Um, we need to get these guys an oven. <laughs> that we actually do need to get these guys an oven because, um, or a grill, because we're going to be get, we're going to be mostly living off omelets. So we're going to have to be uh, quite careful. We've still got a good amount of food. I'm going to assume that we're going to hire up to six dupes because we've got the oxygen. So this will last at least fifteen cycles. Oh, we've got elderly pips. It's not ideal. I mean, we'll get at least one more egg out of him, so that's good. The other thing is, I actually need to make sure that we don't cook all of the pip eggs. We need to make sure that there's at least enough to keep the population ticking over. So I need to have a bit of a think about that. I'll need a critter sensor, I imagine. I'm beeping. Yeah, because we're gonna. Um, my girlfriend's parents are coming over to investigate the oven later. Because we, we're coming and are about whether to get it repaired or replaced. Because we tried replacing it because uh, we wanted an upgrade, but there's a gas pipe behind it um, that's getting in the way of us putting in a new oven. So we're not really sure what to do about that, but uh, we'll see. We're mostly just cooking on the hob at the moment, so it's not really a problem. But it may eventually become a problem. I need to put this on a coaster. <laughs> Got long commutes. I feel like there's no real way of avoiding long commutes eventually. Um, try as you can. Fabrication supply. Oh, it's just because you're going and collect all the eggshell on the map, I think. Yeah, this loop is filling up. If we get any starving pips, we may have to intervene on that. I'm going to add lead to my list of uh, things. Actually, let's add ice. Oh yeah, we need the ice to go in here. Uh, let's just do ice. Yeah, so let's actually cool down this area a little bit. That's fine. I mostly wanted to cool the water because I'm aware this bit is probably going to get a little hot. Because it's right next to the chlorine biome, which I've broken into. Um, we have a we have a Draco. There's probably a way of doing a liquid lock and sorting this all out. So that's probably worth doing, just so that we can get the Draco Ranch going as well. I'm trying to get a lot of ranches off the ground. Um, I think I think it's probably the overall best idea though, because we're not going to be farming anytime soon on this map. It's just too hot. Right, so we've got the we've got the party phone. We will set up a, a recreation room at some point. Fire poles is probably a good thing. So this is where we'll have a fire pole here. We'll have a fire pole here. I'm really glad we found that lead. That, that made things a lot easier. So now we just need to set this to set it to 10 low and 90 high. And then we can uh, plug these in. So it's all hooked up now. I think we'll be fine hooking up both coal generators to a single wire. I'm not going to bother with um, all the um, conductive wire for now. 
Because really, what I want to do for my refined metal is just take this iron volcano, just dump salt water on it, insulate it, and then we'll just take that 100 degree metal and use that for things. It's going to take a while for all this water to heat up. But I need the, I need the super duper hard digging for that. So that's, that's going to be fairly imminent. We have the insulated tiles, so I'm just going to preemptively block that off. We've got mealwood growing up here. It's it's really weird, because the area where a geyser spawns, even if it's like a volcano or something like that, will start cold. So the pips have planted the mealwood up here, and it's actually growing. So I probably could do mealwood if I wanted, but... There doesn't seem to be a, a need. So the hatches are happy. Are they laying any more eggs? Not yet. It's not too bad. Oh yeah, so we've got one more Oxyfan seed. So that's our complete collection as it were. get rid of that tile and I think that's all the oxyferns so that actually somehow nice coincidence fits into our overall like room width so we can put doors on this to make this like a proper room so I need to <laughs> I need to stop all that water from blocking the ferns Right, so what's next here? I'm just gonna do this very slowly. There's no rush. I don't I don't really wanna I don't really wanna pump this yet. I wanna I wanna set up a proper power plant, but that's gonna be in its own insulated room, I think. What's everyone even doing? So we're getting the research done. Yeah, fire poles would be good. We did demolish some bleach stone. So let's uh, let's uh, store that somewhere so we don't get a load of chlorine. So we'll put that in here. With all the other off-gassables. Okay, uh... I'm going to move my little guy. You can stand on that for now. Because I think once I've unlocked uh, Mechatronics, then, then he'll go stand in his normal spot. But for now, the UI looks a little bit uh, weird. <laughs> right, we haven't got these lights on, but that's fine, because we've got the... We've got the shine bugs, so we'll, we'll plug those lights in once the shine bugs are gone, if they go anywhere. Yeah, battery recharge threshold. Let's set that to five percent. So that will only t people will only run on the wheel if we uh, run out of coal. Let's set that to nine. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so next tile is here. Let's drop that. <laughs> I caught I caught him. I caught the shine bug having a sneaky munch. Has anyone found any good uses for uh, shine bugs in Spaced Out? Um, I mean, it's nice having them as free lights. They seem to produce a little bit of radiation now. So I imagine, I imagine if you fill a room with them, you could probably power your um, your Radbolt generator with that. 
So that might actually be a good reason for having a Scheinberg branch, because then you just dump all the excess eggs somewhere, and then you just have a load of Scheinbergs. So that might be worth doing, because last last time we had a Wheeze Wart that was next to this thing, and that was producing a decent amount of radiation. We may need to do the Scheinbergs. I know there's a radiation lamp that you can use to consume the uranium to produce uh, radiation, but we haven't really got a lot, so I don't really want to do that. Yeah, please, uh, please hurry up with this. Uh, I like this game. It's very chill. It's very chill. It's very good for me. My time off. We've got a pretty good amount of stuff done. I'm just uh, not 100% convinced about the food scenario because we're not farming. It's just too hot and I don't really have a way of making it colder. I mean, I think the quickest way is just to set up a thermoregulator with the hydrogen. Oh, this hydrogen's full of slime like now. Ooh. What about natural gas? Is that any good for these sorts of things? So it's got specific heat capacity of 2.2 BTU per gram. The hydrogen has 2.4. So that's actually an interesting idea. The natural gas isn't much worse than the hydrogen, and there's no slime lung in it, so it's probably safer. And we do want to remove this all anyways. Um, so... Perhaps what I do then, for now... So how, how much room we got in here? Got a decent amount of room. So for now, I'm actually just going to set up a liquid lock here. A pretty standard liquid lock. There are probably more efficient ways of doing it, this, but this is just the way I usually do it. And we'll just start pumping this out. Uh, probably into a gas reservoir. So... Where is that again? That'll be HVAC. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll get the natural gas to the reservoir, and then we'll probably make a cooling loop just using the natural gas. Eventually. But in the meantime, what I might just do is clear out this space. Just just pump it. I think it's going to be quicker than just building all of these uh, tiles. Although I think I will still do that as well. <laughs> These little dudes are so adorable. Oh, we've got a skill. We have got skills. I forgot about it. Um, I know you want the research, but we don't need it at the moment. I'm just going to give you building. We just desperately need faster building. Um, yep, you can get the electrical engineering. So again, liquid. Uh, I'm just going to put salt water in here because we don't have a better use for it. So how's this room looking? Yeah, it's still big enough. That's good. We're not actually consuming this water very quickly. 
I might just dig all of this out so that it, um, it's a bit less space. Give the diggers something to do. Although, actually, no, they're going to get very wet doing that. Let's, uh, let's just leave that. Oh, we still need the super duper hard digging. You need to hurry up. Okay, we've, we've got hatches. We've got like five hatches now. So that's really good. <laughs> Those eggs from earlier really paid off um, from the printing pod. But yeah, I still find it odd that we started with one hatch that was here. Like, do you just always start the game with one hatch? Because there shouldn't be any hatches in this biome. Getting any of this stuff done. That's uh why is that? The, the real answer is I've probably given you too much stuff to do. What is everyone actually doing? Everyone is researching. Researching, ranching, and supplying research. Okay. Let's continue. I don't really mind them searching, because we've got loads of oxygen. We've probably got too much oxygen at the moment, to be honest. We have we have absolutely managed to include oxygen. And our research guy is just burning through it faster than this guy can really supply him. We're just draining off all this power as well, so no one's needing to supply any coal or do any of that business. Okay, uh, it's pretty good. Um, I won't actually. I won't deconstruct this. I'll just disable it for now, and we'll copy it across to here. We'll put some more on the other side just in case, because I don't really like having a... Actually, no. I don't even need to bother with that. I can just keep filling it, because I got I got 2,000 kilograms of salt water from the printing pot. So we'll just fill the whole thing. I mean, this is already technically a liquid lock, but I'll just fill it up all the way just to make sure, and then we'll, then we'll tunnel in here and start messing with the natural gas. Um, probably worth analyzing it while we're here. I'm not. I'm not going to need to rely on it for power anytime soon. The coal situation should get pretty comfortable. The eventual plan is that we're going to have sage hatches here. Um, that a ranch full of sage hatches is enough to power two coal generators, and then seven pit branches is enough to supply one sage hatch with enough dirt. But there's loads of dirt on the map, so I'm not super worried about that at the moment. We're primarily going to use the dirt to turn into coal. And by the time we start running out of dirt, we'll just hook up more power sources. Printables. <laughs> there's our super duper hard digger. God, these guys are just rubbish. I hate, I hate it when you get this, because you start off with a load of skill, but then your max skill is capped by this. Like, it's super annoying. I don't... I don't want any of these. <laughs> that was not... that was not very productive.
I mean, that guy did have super duper hard digging, but I'm gonna get that soon anyways, and I didn't want the bottomless calories, because <laughs> we, we really don't have a... We haven't reached food equilibrium yet. So we'll just keep going. What's going on with these plants? Doesn't look like we're getting enough CO2. That's fine. I think it's just going to self-regulate. I mean, what that means is that um, we're just produce, producing more oxygen than we're consuming. So the plants are going to automatically stifle themselves uh, to see. So I don't think that's actually a problem. Okay, so now we're... Regenerating more power again. Yeah, this isn't overloading the wire. I think it only overloads the wire when you do this into a transformer. Um, that's why I was having issues last time. But for now, this will do. <laughs> Very rudimentary. And yes, it is going to heat up the room. Um, spoiler alert, the map is already hot. Everything we're doing is based on a mean temperature of 40 degrees. So, so long as it doesn't get above 40 degrees mean, the base will be fine. And I think I will give everyone cool vests. I don't normally have a reason to, but... It's just nice to find a use for niche things. Uh, tree still isn't growing, but the, the water loop is starting to back up. Pips aren't starving, so that's not really a problem. Once they're starving, I will try and manually fill the water loop if I need to, but it should be fine. But yeah, this is definitely... I think overall, this is my favourite bathroom setup, and you do it on these forest maps. You just have the, the regular water going here, polluted water comes out here, the excess goes into a water sieve and replenishes the clean water. Or, well, not the excess, just the base amount. And then the excess goes into the tree. And you use the tree to feed the pips. And then you get meat. So in a very roundabout way, it's it's um, recycling, recycling the poo at like... I don't know. What is actually the efficiency on this? I guess it depends on the reproduction weight rate of the pips. I feel like, I feel like it's more than 100% value, though. Like, you end up with more food than you lose. Because these guys produce an egg every six cycles. So the whole ranch will produce eight eggs every six cycles. So it's like 1.3 eggs per cycle. Each egg becomes 2,000 calories of omelette. Okay, so that's not quite food positive. Hmm. So we're probably going to need to ramp up the, the pips quite a lot to actually get this number going up without any fee any food without without any farming. Still need to do this. I think we're almost done on the research. So we'll just keep going for now. Yeah, so we're going to want to put um, a ranch in here as well. Not 100% sure what that ranch is going to be yet. Okay, so we've got the gas reservoir, and we've got the thermoregulator. So that heat value is the amount of cooling. Like, it's going to output that much heat right next to it, and that's how much cooling you're going to get in the pipe. But that's based off the thermal capacity of oxygen, which is 1 dTu per gram per degree Celsius. The natural, If we put the natural gas in the loop... Wait... 
Yeah, if we put the natural gas in the loop, that goes up to 2.2, so it becomes 2.2 times as efficient as normal. So you're actually getting about 35 kilo DTU of cooling, 240 power. Which isn't amazing, but it's it's good enough, and it's not going to overheat um, too much. Like you don't necessarily need a steam turbine for it; you just need somewhere else to dump the heat into. So I think I might actually do that if I need to. But yeah, I think we're just going to want as many pips as humanly possible. You you are filling this. You're just quite slow because you don't have very large arms. Oh, actually, that only does 200 kilograms at a time, so you're fine. I'm sorry for making fun of your arms. I still think Marie was worth taking, even though she's mostly just got operating skill. Um, she just having the masterworks perk means we don't technically need a decorator. Like she'll do it just very slowly. She'll do it at the maximum level just very slowly. Yeah, so our hatches are all right. Should be getting more eggs. Uh, we've got the skill we want. We've got super duper hard digging. Nice. Try not to fling a pen at myself. Right, um, I'm going to I'm going to take a very quick break because I just need to uh, check some stuff in the oven. But I will be back soon. I'll be back in like five minutes. So see you then.
I, uh, I'm back. Um, yeah. Uh, oven stuff should be alright. Just need to get, um, I just need to get, uh, my partner's stepdad some information up. Wrong screen again. I keep doing that. Um, about the oven, so he's got what he needs now, I think. I'm just sending it to it, sending it to him anyways. So what's everyone up to? Yeah, so we've got super duper hard digging. So now we can actually uh, try and flood this, <laughs> try and flood this uh, volcano. Yeah, I think that'll be tall enough. Have that go in there. Because I want to get this producing iron for me as soon as possible. And there's salt there's a lot of salt water here, so it should take the the brunt of the of the heat. At least for a little while. We can we can block off access to this again later, but it's it's just free refining, really. On my last map I actually set up I set up a metal refinery by cycle. 40 but that's because we had a lot of cooling geysers on the map and we needed the extra heat in the room we uh, do not have the same set of circumstances here so i will probably not be setting up a metal refinery for a while but i don't really think that's a problem Yeah, we just need. I think we just need more people now. We need a proper builder, need a, a cook, and we need. Um, yeah, I think I think that's it really. So the next two people we're looking for are a builder and a cook. They don't even have to be particularly good, but they do have to at least do something. Um, right, I'm gonna delete that just so that the salt water can flow into this tile. And then I'll put it back, and then we can go in, in the natural gas room. So that should flow over now. Just a CO2 tile. I'm sure this will push out the CO2. Yeah, there we go. Now I can put this back. And now it's just a, a nice amount of liquid all over. So now we can start exploring this room and just pumping all of this gas out. I don't even have anything specific I'm going to put here yet. Eventually I'm going to want to build the uh, Eventually, I'm going to want to build this liquid lock down here, and that's how we'll get into the, the gas room. I don't think we need any more research for now. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the gas reservoir here, because it fits. It sits. Oh, good, yeah, he's got the pictures. Nice. So, right, we're going to want... We're going to want a gas pump. We're just going to put it here... So let's just let's just roll over. Yeah, you guys are doing fine. How's your uh, stress looking like? You're not stressed at all. It's good. Good to hear. It almost backed up. The pips are cramped. Oh, because they've laid an egg. Hmm.
so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want the kitchen here mess hall we'll keep the mess hall here for now eventually we'll have another mess hall here and then bedrooms up here I think it makes sense to have the bedrooms towards the top of the colony so we will put in more bedrooms and we'll actually put in a um, kitchen down there Yeah, this is this is ready for us to break in and investigate. <laughs> You're going to be building that a long time, Frankie. <laughs> you can see the expression in his face. It's just like this is my life for the next day. <laughs> just. Firing nuts and bolts out of a cannon onto, onto the floor until it forms a gas canister. I, I love how they just have a gun for each specific task. It's so it's so random, but it works. I need to get one of those guns for my room so I can fix my oven. Well, uh, my house, I mean. All right. Let's just pump all the gas in here. It's a, it's a little bit inconvenient, um, but we'll set up a backup pit branch down here. I think there's still... Are there any excess pips? Wow, there actually are. I think we've got all the pips. It's a bit daunting. So we're going to need to use some of these eggs to breed more, breed more dudes. I'm going to have to put another liquid lock in as well. That's going to be challenging. But yeah, sorry, you're probably going to get a little hot. What I'll do eventually is I'll just set up like some kind of chute and I'll just drain this liquid lock directly into the new liquid lock. So we'll get the natural gas out of here. Not 100% sure what we'll do with it yet. Um, ooh, this is an animation now. Has this always had an animation? Hmm. Right, that should be all the salt water. I'm getting close to it. I be giving people oxygen masks for this area or is that not even worth doing you're still going to get the irritated eyes I don't think it is really worth doing
Man, this is filling up so quickly. I mean, I guess this is still outgassing as well. Maybe if I just uh, block this off just for now. So we can clear out this area specifically. And then at least we can get the ranch at full capacity. Although, I know exactly what's going to happen. You're going to limb and trap yourself in there. Go. I've seen this happen too many times. <laughs> you are... Oh, you're... Oh, God. You... Yeah, you did it, didn't you? Right. Yeah, you're going to get scolded. Because this is 150 degrees. I'm just going to keep a bit of a beady eye on these guys for now. I believe in you. Come on. Yeah, there we go. You're actually being sensible. <laughs> You're cold. <laughs> okay. Really gonna have to build a second gas reservoir. I am, a, I am if they don't hurry up. Because it's 50, 50 kilograms. There's more than 50 kilograms in here. Yeah, I may have to build another caster as well. In the chlorine. The oxygen pressure is higher than the chlorine pressure. So in theory, I should be able to dig around the chlorine this way. I think I am going to have to dig this tile to remove the plant. But in theory... It shouldn't leak out. Let's see. So usually my problem is the oxygen pressure isn't high enough, but I've actually got the opposite problem today. We've got too much oxygen there. We're going to need to hook up some water at some point. Bollocks. It's full. Hmm. So what am I going to want to do? That. I'm going to want to... I'm going to want to put a thermo... Thermo regulator. Put that up eventually. I think... I think we just dig through here... Priority 9 this, we'll dig through here. Oh, 
Oh, wait, this still counts as a... Uh... Okay. I mean, I'm not going to leave it like this forever. But I guess it solves the cramped issue for now. Is this egg going to break due to being trapped in the door? Is there even an egg there? It's bizarre. Yeah, let's keep going. So we'll build all this, we'll, uh, Nosh Bean. <laughs> we'll put Nosh Bean there, why not? Um, this can be the backup branch, so we'll set it to priority 8. Let's get this all installed. Right, so there is oxygen pressure there, so I should be able to get in here and block these off. Yeah. And I don't think that's going to leak out. Maybe it is. I've got polluted oxygen. Why have I got polluted oxygen? I don't know. I think it might just be a spare tile from previously. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, we've got like three drowned, almost drowned pips. That's... Uh, that's that's going to be a rescue operation. <laughs> we got another pip here. Why didn't I spot these guys earlier? I guess they were just eggs. Although that pip is 25, so he's been there since the beginning. I, I've just not been very observant. Um... Right, so now I can dig through here. We we'll want to do this. Although, yeah, this is going to be ugh, dealing with all these gases. I'm, I'm absolutely determined to not let any of these gases into my main base this time, because last time it was just a complete mess between the polluted oxygen, chlorine vent, the natural gas leak. I'm just not having it. I mean, the oxygen pressure is high, so we can, we can keep this chlorine fairly subdued. And I think I am just going to tile it in. And I'll just yeah, keep deleting it like this. I'm so glad that you can still build diagonally. I would have been annoyed otherwise. We'll probably put in another gas canister. I don't think we're going to need the more than one water sieve ever. Like, no matter how many pips we have. Because that water sieve is just for the bathroom loop. That's backed up now, so the tree should be getting fed. Pips aren't starving, but the eggs are... The eggs are cramping their style, so let's move the eggs into the backup branch. Okay. Oh, God. Have I not paid attention... Are you drowning? No. Okay. They rescued that one first. That's really good, because I have wrangled critters and accidentally drowned them before. And while meat is appreciated, uh, it is not the current objective. We need, we need a large breeding population of pips. So that we can eat omelettes.
Omelettes are the end goal. I had a map once where I was so low on food, I actually... I... I took Shinebug eggs and I put them on a... on a tile. On a metal tile next to a natural gas uh, geyser. So that the natural gas geyser would cook the raw egg from those omelette, from those shine bugs, up to seventy degrees. At which point, the raw egg would turn into tiny omelettes. I have a picture of that somewhere. Um, so each tiny omelet was about two hundred calories. It it did not work out, but it was kind of hilarious and funny. So it's probably worth it. Yeah, you guys could just wander around for now. I'm going to need to set up this liquid tile eventually, but that's going to be a nuisance. Actually, it's not. I can just put a mesh tile there. And... Yeah, because the tree hasn't grown yet. So I could do this. And I can pour the liquid through here. And that should work out. Mew. These guys are louder than the other pips. I don't know. I'm really glad they added sound effects because I tried I tried making a big pit branch another time and um, they they were very quiet. I was sad. <laughs> I think they're making the appropriate amount of noise now. Okay, that is actually unreachable. So let's let's figure this out. Ah, oh, these stupid plants. Right, who we got? We need a cook. Uh, you've got increased cuisine. You've got an interest in branching. Though not very much skill. <laughs> Decreased cooking. Christ, I'm really I'm really not getting any chefs. Nah, I'm 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 I've done I'm not playing any more Noita for now. Um I might I might occasionally dip in and out of it. Um, I got pretty close to completing my 100% uh, spells list. Like, um, I think I, I'm actually very quickly going to go over to my Noita list. I've got a very small list of spells left, um, but the game was crashing a lot, as you could probably tell from the crash counter. I'm just going to get the ice because we need cooling. Um, so we were crashing a lot. So I probably will stream Noita again uh, sometime. I'm currently on holiday, so I've got the energy to do a bit more oxygen not included. Um, but yeah, noise is definitely not off the table. I do find it very fun. Uh, I I just need to make sure I'm taking regular backups if I'm trying long runs again. And most of those remaining spells will need to be long runs. Uh, because, because they're all to do with like end game quests. <laughs> why, have you, why have you planted a farm, Lily? But yeah, how, how are you doing, Trent? I'm doing well. I'm just trying to tile in all this stupidity here. These these plants are going to make it very difficult. the cutest noise. Oh wow, I hope I hope you're um you're okay now. Um <laughs> it's so adorable. I feel like my heart is it's growing three sizes bigger. I'm just gonna dig this because we can we can pick that up right away. 
Actually, no, I know I know a better plan. No, that's not really a better plan. It's not getting rid of the bleach stone. I'm just going to dig it. I think... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm worrying too much about this. We've got room for another gas tank. Maybe I'll... Actually, I'll just leave this for now. I'll just leave that for now. Put it in another gas tank. It's not pretty, but it will do. Oh, blimey. So, um... Did... Uh, was that, like, um... Did you get hypothermia? Man, these guys look so weird when they're pulled up. Fritz is starvation. Right, the pips are starving now. But they should be getting the... The trees should be getting the water, but... Ah, this is the problem. So I need to hook this up to reverse the priority. Maybe. Actually, it might be alright. Let's just, let's just see what this bleeds of water does. Oh wow, that's really cold. I'm... That's like... Uh, oh, I can't remember the, the rule, but that's like... That's very cold. <laughs> wow. So was that... Uh, were you on holiday, or, or is just where you live very cold? Yeah, that that sucks. Like I I know a lot of people who've gone to hospital for something unrelated and then they've gotten COVID. Um, definitely a thing. Like my my uh, my girlfriend's uh, granddad had that. And, well, to, if, to be honest, I don't think he's going to be leaving care anytime soon because he had a stroke. But he's had COVID quite a few times in his hospital stay. It's a real problem. So that polluted water is just sitting in the there for now. Plant isn't really getting enough liquid to grow, so I'll disconnect this for now and I'll reconnect it once we've got a bit more liquid going. But yeah, it's going alright. Um, it's just food. I'm just really worried about food because the map is too hot to grow mealwood and we need these ranches to be working very quickly or not not very quickly but we've got i don't know like 15 cycles ish before i'm starting to worry and i do want to hire another dupe as well i want to hire a cook oh man that that, that really sucks Uh, yeah, I've never, I've never fought, uh, I've never fell in a river. There was one time where um, at hiking sock we were, we were in a river, and the 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 lead guy, the president of hiking sock, ended up dislocating his uh, elbow. I, I think he had some kind of condition where he dislocated stuff easily, so we ended up going to the hospital for that. But it was actually quite late at night, so it was really, it was really tricky. We ended up driving him ourselves instead of getting an ambulance. Uh, yeah, it wasn't very cold. It was it was like the middle of summer, so slightly different issue. Yeah, I want to get all the natural gas out of here because I just want this to be a, a complete ranch. I want to have the full eight pips in here. Got five for now. Uh, let's, let's drop in some more salt water. There's no more salt water, so this will be regular water. Just a little bit. Okay, so that's starting to fill up again. So that's good. I'm going to put in the actual liquid lock down here. 
I just want I just want to have a place for the spare pips at the moment. I think if we get down to say 40,000 calories, I'm going to start trying to set up the cooling loop with the thermoregulator and just get some mass mealwood going. I hope it doesn't come to that. And I really hope it doesn't come to mush baths. <laughs> okay, that's probably more than enough water. It's not germy, that's fine. Let's deconstruct that because that's going to stop the tree from growing. Oh, yeah. Uh... Wow, that's a lot of pip eggs, actually. How many eggs we got there? Probably left them in the storage bin a bit longer than I should have. That's not bad, actually. So we've got five pips in here. Four in here. We've got six eggs. Oh, so these guys are all going to be cramped now. <laughs> right, okay. There's definitely going to be some egg management going on. Well, this is going to be the kitchen, so that's going to be the ultimate egg management place uh, for pips, because all the excess eggs are going to get turned into omelettes. <laughs> this little face they pull every time they get the sponge out. It's just like, ew, gross. And it's like 30 grams of water. I think I think you'll cope. These soups have actually had it very well. Like they're at a nice, comfortable, slightly warm temperature. There's no there's no polluted oxygen. You don't need to disinfect this. Um, no scoldings yet. <laughs> I'm gonna that might change soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this producing some iron. But uh, no, they've had it pretty good. They they haven't died. They haven't suffocated. Oxygen pressure has been probably too high because we're, we're looking for a dupe, but all the dupes we've been offered are just terrible. And we still haven't fully solved the food situation, so I'm not in a huge hurry to do that. Right. I believe the water here is stopping me from navigating now. No? It probably needs to go all the way up, because this is definitely working. As intended. This is how I keep the pips under control. Um, actually, yeah, please replace that and just delete the tile. Yeah, so now if I click Show Navigation. Yeah, now that's blocking them, because it's a completely covered tile. So that's what you need to do. So now I can wrangle this guy and bring him back to the main room. So what I'll do is I'll... I'll probably rejig this pipe at some point. We don't have a huge amount of polluted water coming in. That will change when we get the natural gas hooked up, because we'll start to get some polluted water from that. But, um... Yeah. I'm not super worried about that. <sighs> I think we could do with a nice big shipment of Pakus. I feel, I feel like like that's how my food problems usually get solved, is I just get some random food, some pakus from the printing pod, and then I just set up like a breeding program. Then I just have loads of pakus. But that uh, hasn't emerged yet. Yeah, so I just want to get all the natural gas out of this room, and then I will relocate the liquid lock. I think I can I think I can dig this. The oxygen pressure in here is fairly high, although the chlorine pressure is quite high now in there because 
some bleach stone has been emitting. So I'll have to investigate that. I just need to get rid of the plant though, because it's stopping me from tiling up the rest of this area. Yeah, please dig that. And get you building that right away, because I think that chlorine is gonna. Yeah, that chlorine's gonna be a tricky customer. Yeah, my mission is just to try and stop these gases from leaking at all, if I can. Um, okay, that uh, that kind of lucked out. So we can. Okay, that doesn't need to be yellow priority now. You construct that tile. How's this looking? So we've got six and three. These guys are starving now, so we need more polluted water. I mean, they've at least replaced themselves, so hopefully they won't starve. There is some polluted water down here. This journey, it's not really a lot. I think I need to start looking for more geysers. There's a geyser up here. Maybe that's polluted water. Yeah, I just need um I just need the pips to get started, really. And they just need polluted water for that. Why would a toilet's not working? So this is where we're getting our polluted water at the moment. I'm going to want critter sensors as well. Do I have those? No. Let's go get those. Because I'm going to want to... I'm going to need to do some automatic egg shuffling. Ugh! I mean, eventually we'll, we'll want uh, mechatronics for that, but that's a long way off. I was kind of tempted to re-roll until I got someone with mechatronics, but that seemed like a bit of a waste of time. I mean, you're about halfway there skills-wise. It's probably not going to be another 40 cycles at least. Okay, this room's almost empty. These people are getting to bed on time. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I think I'm going to keep going for another uh, couple of hours and then I'm going to have to wrap it up because I've got stuff I need to do this evening. But I will be uploading uh, all of this on YouTube now. Um, I'm just going to be uploading the VODs straight to YouTube. We've got food poisoning. Yeah, that checks out. We've got the curator tablets though, so that's not too bad. <laughs> there you go. Self-solving problem. Okay, the room is empty. Now what? <laughs> um, I definitely want to empty this liquid lock out into the new liquid block, which is going to go... So just plan this out. Okay, no. That doesn't need to be yellow priority. Let's just plan this out for a second. So, the room is going to end up being that large. Because it needs to be that large to house the pips. No? No, it doesn't need to be that large. It needs to be this large. So, if I take that back, 
probably want to tile that off and untile that. Um, then the liquid lock would go... So that would be a door. Then... Probably something along those lines. I think. Um, so we're actually going to want this liquid to go over here. But first. So let's. <laughs> yes, I get it. I get it, Pips, for cute. Um, yeah, so we'll build the ladder. Uh, we'll break into this area. Start tiling this off. We'll pump this little bit of gas out of here. With the existing pump. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, obviously you're not going to be doing much breathing in here. So our ultimate goal is to move the liquid lock over here, but in the meantime is to just break this area open. So I want to deconstruct that. Just want to slowly... vent this area. I mean, worst case, some natural gas leaks out, and it's not a huge issue, but I'm going to try very hard to not do that this time, because it got very uh, messy last time. So, we got tile. So you can strike that, dig this... Got idols. It's interesting. I think it's just because they were momentarily trapped. How are the hatches doing? Hatches are doing all right. We're gonna to need to start storing a hatch egg somewhere. Yeah, and I'll probably put them here. I'll set them to sweep only, and then I'll just tell them to sweep eggs. Wow, you actually are out of things to do. It's not usually a problem I have at this stage in the game. Um, Alright, well, let's dig in here. Let's try and make a little bit of a, a man, like a... Let's try and make a, a semi-natural liquid lock here. I don't want the sour gas getting out. See how that goes. Probably trying to do too many things at once. But I do want to cover this with some water so that I can so I can start getting some refined metal. Can dig through the obsidian now. Yeah, so I don't think any gas got through. So now we can get through here. That should stay as a liquid lock, regardless of what ends up happening with this liquid. So then we can just come down here and we can just 
dig this out. It should be able to go across and down. So we'll see if that works. Someone might die, but probably not. Yeah, we need to build these tiles, so we'll just go down here and do that. <laughs> we do have a sweetie puffed, but I don't think we need to be worrying about ranching that at the moment. How is how is this doing with polluted water? It needs 70, 70 kilograms per cycle. It's not going to get that. I mean, these guys are eating. They are eating. I think. It doesn't say they're starving anymore. Man, I don't know. If we get to 40,000 calories, I'm just going to set up the loop and just do some farming instead. Or the, the temperature loop. What are, you, what are you doing? Well, if you really don't have anything to do, then... Uh, just keep clearing up this area. Is that all needs doing? Got Drekos. We want to set up a Dreco Ranch as well. It's probably worth doing as well. Oh, the Dreco Ranch is going to be slightly more complicated. Still not sure where that's going to go yet either. I kind of want to just continue doing Pip Ranches down here. But we're going to end up with a geyser in one of our branches, I think. Or we're just going to have to not do that. <laughs> got some meat. We got a very small amount of meat. Oh, I've not done the, the crucial part of the liquid lock. The lock part. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do that. Quick. Quick. <laughs> Quick. Right, so that should lock it in because that will be a vacuum tile now. So... Yeah, you are trapped. Okay. Um, I guess we can analyze this. There is oxygen there. So, yeah, I'll, I'll keep that tile there just so I can breathe the oxygen. Because I would like to know when this is actually going to erupt. Uh, and... This will eventually start leaking heat, so... So... In priority... I'll probably just seal this up again once it starts going. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Right, I'm uh, I'm gonna be back in a sec. Um, I'll just be you know moment.
Hello, I'm back. Right, let's uh, let's continue not dying. Uh, hold on, I need to turn the sound on. There we go. Critter's starving pips. Yep. It's not exactly what I wanted. We are producing a decent amount of bathroom waste now, so hopefully that is actually helping to feed the pips. I would be very sad if we died. <laughs> God damn it. Their noises are just way too adorable though. So what what are people up to? What is everyone doing? So we're feeding the hatches. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sweep. Sweep that tile, and um, that can be critter eggs. Sweep only. So that way, if a ha if a room gets cramped, then I'll just sweep the eggs, and we'll just we'll just manually manage the branches because we just need to until we get mechatronics. Okay, so you're analyzing the volcano. Okay, no, it's going to take a while. Do you have enough oxygen there? Potentially. We shall see. What's everyone else doing? You should be prioritizing other stuff, to be honest. Because we wanna we wanna expand this room. Chlorine pressure is getting too high in here. So I think some chlorine is probably going to leak. Unless we hook this up quite precisely. Yes, yeah, so I want to know when this iron volcano is erupting. But that should hopefully start getting us some refined metal that's not way too hot because of cooling it in the salt water. Okay, so tree is 32%. It's still growing. I don't think it's going to keep growing for much longer. The reality is, I probably just need to keep expanding the hatch ranch. Because we can just shove, shove the dirt in here. Like, getting enough trees consistently growing to feed all these pips is going to be a challenge. <sighs> Actually, I know what the solution to this problem is. So, we've got some chlorine here. It's not a lot. The oxygen will depress that. So if I just dig in here, and then go like this, I should just be able to let the chlorine out this way. Let's try it. Who's idle? You're idle. Uh, well, we don't really need anything else doing over here. You might as well just keep demolishing this. We are eventually going to want ranches. We're going to want ranches in all this space. This guy who's going to make things tricky. Hypothermia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. What does that do to your science skill? 
think that does affect your science skill. Uh, it does, but he's got like uh, a ton of it, so I think he'll be all right. There should probably be uh, health impact from hypothermia. Oh, right, okay, that's run out of oxygen now. I think we can deconstruct this without issues. That'll let the oxygen back in. So let's, uh, let's priority nine that. Managing these gases correctly and just stopping them from just diffusing out into the base is a lot of effort, but it's an interesting challenge. People are getting stressed because they're going in the liquid dough. Who's trapped? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Any cooks? Not really. Um, these are just some really bad dupes, aren't they? Good God. Just get more ice. I mean, we've actually got enough ice from this stupid printing pod that we're probably actually going to be able to start farming some mealwood, in all honesty. That would certainly make things easier. Okay, this isn't uh, a good idea. Yeah, let's let's get you out of here. We do need to uh, relieve some of this liquid pressure, I think. Actually, I, I want to see what happens. He's not going to die instantly. This is probably going to overpressure as well. <laughs> Let's see. You're cured of hypothermia. It's a miracle. Okay, that is still erupting. Uh, so that iron is coming out at uh, 2,500 degrees. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. So, the water is taking the heat. I mean, the idea is that this is going to turn into steam. And the water will sort of regulate itself. But yeah, <laughs> that's one way of getting iron. Straight from the horse's mouth. Right, that's done now. So that was... Like... Eruption period, 37 seconds. There should be more than... 87 kilograms of iron then. Surely. Should be more like 500. Maybe some of it was being uh, deleted.
Yeah, we'll put all of that on the list. Don't think there's... Oh yeah, lime is something we'll put on the list. Probably bleach stone and rust as well. I think I'll do. Yeah, no, there's the iron. I don't know why it's saying there's only 87 kilograms of iron available. But yes, let's not build up anything out of iron for a while. How is this vacuum? How is this vacuum going? Oh, what do? What do? Is it still not actually sealed off? I mean, the geyser isn't erupting, but it's only because it's over pressure. Maybe I just, uh, maybe I just dig and. Just get this done. Yeah, let's just let's just priority nine this and get this done. Because it will leak into this area where we pump it into the reservoir, which is fine. And then we just need to do the job quickly enough that the area just doesn't fill with more gas. The hatches are happy. The pips are kind of starving. Yeah, this plan may have been somewhat poorly thought out. There's not enough polluted water getting to this tree. Because one tree is enough for the pips. Probably just continue going for the hatches. Right, the iron amount is showing up is correct now, at least. Yeah, so please just build all of this. Gonna speed to it a little bit just to see uh, see how they cope with that. We normally have a lot more dupes by now, but the range we've had is shocking, and we're still struggling on the food front. We have gotten lots of ice though, so this water is starting to actually cool down. If we get it cold enough, we could probably just roast some mealwood. Yeah, this guy's not erupting anymore, so we can just we can just finish this off for now. Okay, I don't think we actually need a ladder there. Let's let's do this. Yeah, this reservoir is filling up again. <laughs> These gas reservoirs are not very space efficient. And at the end of the day, we also just don't have a lot of labour to do all of this.
Yeah, he's slowly getting this. Uh, he's not getting hypothermia anymore, which is good. Yeah, so the chlorine isn't escaping from here because of the gas pressure, so maybe we can do something with that. If we if we release the rest of this chlorine down here, we might be alright. There's not a huge amount down there. Hmm, I am I am getting puzzled. Yeah, let's just priority nine all of this. Just get it all built and then we'll have the new liquid lock in place and then we can just vent this whole area. Yeah, analysis is going all right. Yeah, you're probably a bit hot now. This area is going to heat up, but hopefully it's not going to heat up the rest of our base. At the end of the day, just having the refined metal is probably better. I mean, we could do it in the rock, rock crusher, but I just don't want to waste the metal. We don't really have we don't really have food storage either, but <laughs> that that's the next problem to solve after we acquire the food. So the plant is growing because people are using the loose. I just don't think this actually generates enough. Um, food to work because it it the, like the amount of treat you get is dependent on the amount of polluted water coming out of the bathroom. So if you don't have an external polluted water source, it's not actually beneficial. So I did scope the seed in advance. Um, I had to select the map um, using the. Uh, Using the only uh, the tools not included by Krath, which you can find here, yeah. which is very good. Um, I may quickly look at that and see where the muted water geyser is again. Uh, so I'll just be a sec. So, I should have saved this somewhere, really. Just, uh, Uno Memento. Okay, it's not that one. It's not that one either. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, okay. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> why, why are you scolding? Okay, the volcano's erupting. That is a fairly, fairly decent uh, reason to be getting scolded. 
Okay, let's uh, cancel the maps for now. <laughs> right. Um, we'll leave that alone for now. Yeah, so I'm getting a little concerned. These pips are all getting quite impatient, I think. Rooming station outside of stable. Oh yeah, because broken through here. Yeah, that's gonna be temporary. I'm sure I told this guy to keep uh, uprooting this bomb with over and over again. Plant the tree in here. Are you serious? Oh my god, just do it. Just do the thing, please. Do not want them to keep planting random seeds in here. Let's do it. I mean, oh my god. <laughs> Stop it! This is driving me up the pool. Yes, there you go. Why are you sleepy? You shouldn't be sleepy. Okay, uh, just regular water. We should really do salt water, but I'm... Hmm, ambivalent. Okay, you can analyze this again because this is no longer erupting. What did we research? Ritter sensors, I think. So let's make these out of lead. And I'm just going to put them there. And I think I'm just going to set them... To a hammer. No, I don't want a hammer, I want a notifier. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do not build this out of iron. Okay, we only have enough lead for one of those. Okay, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Actually, I know what I'll do. I'll just move this. I just wanted to just um, give me an alert when these ranches are full. Actually, I might even just do that. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, so... Enable auto bottle, please. Yeah, these pips are starving. As are we. Hold on, no. Did I really tell you to build this automation wire out of iron? No. It's the automated notifier. That iron isn't very hot. That's <laughs> That probably would have been alright. 
Yeah, just just do that. Sorry, I've changed my mind. I just want to make sure that we don't let any like super hot metal into the base. How do we get a Draco in here? You're elderly as well. I'm quite confused. Okay, so there's not a lot of chlorine in here. There's a lot of oxygen. I reckon we can drop the... I reckon we can drop this. We'll mine up the bleach stone. We'll mine up the bleach stone and then we can put another gas reservoir here or something. Oh, I'm going to do something more productive with this space eventually, but right now I'm just in the uh, kind of crisis mode. I think I'm going to have to set up a farm because this ranch isn't getting off the ground fast enough. I think the hatches are doing all right. Oh my god, got to turn this off. Those eggs have probably been... Oh yeah, they've been they've been there a while. Oh, I hate I hate the manual <laughs> the manual ranching. Yeah, if we dig if we dig this through, and the chlorine falls through to here, then it should just stay down there. So I don't think we're gonna run out of oxygen pressure anytime soon. And this volcano is giving us a decent amount of iron. So for now, we're we're handling the heat from that reasonably well. Okay, that's uh, not quite doing what I thought it would. Let's just uh, block that off quickly. Please. Now. I know I'm locking the guy in there. But you've got oxygen, you'll survive. There's no food, but there's no food anywhere else. <laughs> so now at least we can uh, deconstruct all of this. Yeah, no leaks. Hydrogen leaks are fine. I think this is the whole mission of this of this run at this point. It's just no leaks, please. Yeah, so that's gone. So we can put these in. Oh yeah, you're going to need to get rid of the bleach stone. Okay, so I think this area is just about getting ready.
No one's doing that. That's all right. Right, uh, let's cancel that for now because it's going to get too hot. Okay, so we can put in our third uh, gas reservoir. <laughs> I am going to move these eventually, I swear. We just need to sort this out. The hatches are doing alright. Oh, we have a sage hatchling egg. Excellent. Yes, because we're going to want the sage hatches eventually. Please just do this. Notification. Yep. So... Branches are cramped. And put branches are cramped. Yeah, that'll do. And then set if above eight. Okay, so that's probably good enough for now. Uh, and then we can start pumping this again. What was going on with that? Oh no, I don't want to actually build all of that. I seem to be getting some kind of weird visual glitch. I think with all of this ice there is there is a logical decision to be made which is to just to have some planter pots on mesh tiles just build ice temp shift plates build a farm here and then at least they're not going to starve to death. And this definitely isn't going to be permanent, but this is going to be better than whatever we've got going at the moment. We've got loads of mealwood seeds. It, if, it would feel very silly not to do this. So let's just just make these mesh tiles. I didn't expect to receive this much ice from the printing pod, but this should make this work for at least a while. We got we got a cook as well. So that is that is good. Actually, is this guy better cook? I mean the decreased critter husbandry sucks, but everything else seems good. Yeah, let's go with you as the cook. <laughs> There's more food as well. <laughs> oh boy. No, uh, let's get a cook. We need someone who can operate a grill because we're going to be making omelettes. So Stinky, you can go... I don't know. Yeah. And priority-wise, you will be the cook. 
and you will do all the tidying. So I can take that off. I can take that off you. I think that's. I think that's fair. Then skills you can get. You can get grilling. So you're now the chef. Chef Stinky. So there's no point doing a kitchen yet, is there? I don't really want to start doing the omelettes until they're actually replacing the population. Yeah, this is this is working now, but there's so much there's so much gas it might even fill up this room. We'll see. We'll see, but that is the correct tileage. So then at least we'll have we can have a full capacity pit branch down here. probably just shuffle all the pips into here and then have this be the backup branch. Just due to how the pipes work. Is there anything else interesting going on? I think we I think we need to start uncovering more geysers. This is just... Okay, that's bleach stone, so I don't want to do anything like that. No, that wasn't, that wasn't the right command. So let's just investigate what this is. I don't think it's an iron volcano. I think it might be something actually uh, useful. And let's investigate what this is as well, because we've uh, we've got the super duper hard digging now. I think this is an iron volcano. Though. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of annoyed. The The pip thing didn't work because we didn't have enough polluted water. Could get more polluted water by using a carbon skimmer, but the problem is we actually don't have any carbon dioxide because these plants are using it all for oxygen. Um, so really, we're probably just going to end up going for hatches. So let's set that to priority 9. Set that to eight. Set that to seven. I mean, the, the tree is growing. It's just not going to grow enough because it's going to consume seventy kilograms per cycle, and we're not going to get enough bathroom water for a single tree until ten dupes in, and this isn't going to produce ten dupes worth of food. So we have to do something else. So that's what this is going to be. So we're going to put in the mealwood here, and we're just going to put in a load of ice temperature plates just to melt the ice. And uh, we'll see if that works. going to start backing up very soon. I 
think this will still be another pit branch. So that's. Yeah, this has behaved itself. There's no chlorine in here, so we can. So we can start making this. Why, why am I still setting out pit branches if I know I haven't got enough polluted water for pips? I'm never going to have enough polluted water for pips unless I find a geyser. So what I should do is I should see if I have a geyser. So I did look uh, for this map specifically because of the seed checking tool. So I'm going to use the seed checking tool to see where the geyser is. Yeah, and as... Yeah, I thought I remembered that correctly. There is a polluted water vent up here. That's what this geyser is. That's a polluted water vent. So... I knew there was a reason I thought that would work. So we'll just hook that up to the trees. We'll hook that up to the trees and we'll set up a bridge so that... Um, so that the bathroom loop feeds it preferentially. But then we'll never run out, run out of water because this will produce way too much water. So that's how we solve that problem. But in the meantime, we're going to plant a shitload of mealwood and put the ice temperature plates in. And that should work. And I guess we'll see. Okay, one more, one more pump. <laughs> Filling all this useful space with uh, unuseful things. Although I can't dig into here. Yeah, that'll do for now. Oh, this is going all right. It's just a bit more uh, challenging than I thought it would be. I do still need to finish off pumping this, though. So that's uh, priority nine. Yeah, that's all priority nine. Uh, I can resell this stuff to be priority nine as well. That probably does need to be priority nine because we need to grow the plants. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this, but... Uh, I would rather not starve. And we do have plenty of seeds. We're getting a, a, a good amount of iron out of this volcano though, which is good. I mean, it's producing a lot of heat, but eventually I'll, I'll plug it back up with a cold, cold temp shift plate. And how that works is you put the coal on, and then the volcano cooks it into refined carbon. Yeah, sorry, Stink, I haven't really given you anything to do yet. Oh, this doesn't need to be... Well, actually, this does need to be priority 9. Everything needs to be priority 9 because we're in trouble. <laughs> just make sure that... Just make sure that you're doing all the construction instead of just passing around. got a sun nymph egg. It's probably not super helpful. We are getting steam, but that's not a problem because the steam will condense back into water. 
As long as it's not a heat, so long as the mean temperature of the water is going above 100, we're fine. As soon as it does, we'll have to plug this off. But we're going to get like um, several tons worth of refined iron for free from this. So I think that was definitely worth doing. We're not going to get steel anywhere near as quickly as we did in the previous playthrough, but I'm not super concerned about that. We'll just keep going towards mechatronics because I hate manually handling these ranches. It's very inefficient because I tend to leave the eggs in there a lot longer than they should be left. Food is decayed, nosh bean. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> this is the messiest pipe system thing I've ever had. Yeah, once we get these trees growing from something that isn't just bathroom water. I mean, this is just bathroom water, but I mean, a large amount of it. Which is what we're looking for, really. Like, this is the actual solution to the problem. This is just a temporary solution to not dying. Because we're going to run out of food in eight cycles. In fact, these plants take... Well, they take three cycles to grow, so we should be alright. I mean, eventually, eventually, how big is this room? Eventually, it's going to be a glossy Draco Ranch. It's not going to be a full capacity one. It's going to be seven, because we need this access way to be clear. But we will eventually grow meal with here. In fact, actually, this doesn't all need to be mesh tile, does it? In fact, this... This is eventually going to be farm tile. Actually, this is all just going to be farm tile now. I'm just going to... I'm just going to farm tile it because eventually we're going to want... We're going to want at least 14 farms in here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, that worked out well. So we'll do that. Um, I am going to put in the kitchen now. So I guess for now I'll deconstruct all of that. Uh, Marie, where are you going to go? I don't know. I'll, I'll leave Marie in here. We'll just have Marie instead of the micro mission. <laughs> have we got insufficient oxygen generation? I guess we're not producing enough CO2. Hmm. This map is actually turning out more difficult than I thought it would be. So this should vent this area. And when that's vented, we can just block this up, move the liquid lock, or dismantle this liquid lock. Although I think I was just going to pour it into here. Do 
Actually, why did I fill this with water? Hmm. <laughs> I'm starting to do some silly things. Yes, we're still feeling the utter lack of a builder. We need these to be farm tiles because the Drekos are going to eat them eventually. I learned that the hard way. They don't eat the um, the planter box uh, mealwood. Yeah, you're you you're gonna you're gonna get there eventually, Frankie, I promise. Yes, yeah, so you've got heat stroke, that makes sense. Right, so we need to plant the mealwood, but we don't need to right away because that will grow in three cycles. So we could, we should plant the mealwood when we get down to twenty thousand calories, and not a moment before, because we don't want food lying around going off. tree is growing. How much longer? I don't know. Probably not too much longer. Actually, maybe it will be alright. Got another pip. Got... Hatchling. So let's wrangle you. So we are starting to get some animals, but we're just not getting a lot of meat, and we need to cook the meat. Could probably do with some showers as well. Uh, I can make a shower room. Oh, that yeah, showers is another way of getting more polluted water out of these guys. I should have done that a while ago. Good grief. I always forget about that. I'm not sure how much it actually does, but A, the hygiene, and B, the, B, the morale are also good reasons to do that. So, something like this. I don't think you want to uh, directly connect them. I think that blocks it, so... It's not very pipe efficient, but... What else is going on here? Why are you scolding? That is erupting. Analysis complete. Okay. Yeah, get out of there, please. Why am I setting up a mealwood farm right next to an iron volcano? <laughs> I, 
Insulated tile don't fit in me now. That is, uh, it's not the best thing in the world. I'm gonna want a, um, I'm gonna want a triage cot as well for this guy. Okay, so we are venting this chamber, so that's good. Chlorine has just ended up down here. It's probably worth me putting the uh, liquid lock in here as well. Because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to want to convert all of the polluted water geyser into pips. Okay, so that's polluted oxygen. Infectious. So that is good for a puff ranch. Good to know. Uh, let's get back to it. Yeah, if we get the showers up, everyone will go for a shower, and that will effectively double the amount of polluted water we're getting out of them. Yeah, just keep building the showers. We'll have that run off the same amount of water. Although, although actually, oh no, now I've realized. The, only the bathroom's are producing excess uh, polluted water. The showers aren't actually contributing to the excess. It's only the bathrooms. But, I mean, it's still part of the same system. I think we should still just use it. Still probably a good idea anyways. Although that does mean this is lower priority, I suppose. Although they've already built everything now anyways. I'll put this in again just in case. But the shine bugs seem to be doing alright at the moment. So that's not going to go dormant for another 50 cycles. That's potentially problematic. Well, I think I'll do. I think I'll do what I was doing. I'll just let this keep erupting until this water is close to boiling. Okay. Um. It's a tricky one. I think I'm going to take the ice just because I don't know why this printing pot has offered us ice four times on this map. I'm actually kind of annoyed because <laughs> that was supposed to be the challenge was that it was too hot to grow food and now we're just getting enough ice that we can just grow food. <laughs> but um, whatever, it's fine. We're, we're kind of struggling anyways. I'll take I'll take the help.
So we want the grill. So at the moment, this is just... There's no room bonuses for a grill. So we'll just put the grill in. We'll put the storage bin here because we're going to use that later anyways. We'll put in the egg cracker because we need to crack eggs. And we'll put in a triage cot because why not? Why not? Just feed them on the mitts. They'll get better. I like showers. I don't think that's particularly useful, but they are not they are not the worst thing in the world. Yes, I would quite like to just explore this polluted water vent. And then just pump that straight to the uh, straight to the trees. So if I just uh, if I just have a look on the the website very quickly. I mean, I could... That's a lot of police reports. So. So we're never going to run out of polluted water for those trees. So I think we'll just keep expanding the pit branches as far as we can go. We'll need to explore this as well. So let's uh, pour some water in here. I just love how they just stand there, like, muttering to themselves while they eat the tablets. They never really fixed that one. Got another skill point. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, we still don't need any science yet, so let's just keep going with building. Buried object. Yep, the polluted water vent. That is correct. That is contaminated, so we won't want to use it for anything other than, uh... Oh, actually, hold on. This is kind of dumb. Let's do this slightly differently. So that is going to come out at 30 C, so that doesn't require temperature management. So all I need to do is... Something like this. Um, this is all carbon dioxide, so that's not a problem. I don't even need to go that high. I can just go that high. What uh, what hydro sensors do I have? Do I just have a regular hydro sensor? No, I need improved plumbing for that. So let's get a hydro sensor. Oh, we want to make this a little bit wider then. If we're going to have a hydro sensor.
And then we'll put in... Put in the pump. Put in the sensor here. Right, let's make sure this meal would gets planted because I don't want to uh, actually run out of food. I've given them a lot of stuff to do at once. Yeah, so please cook meat and please do not eat meat until it is cooked. Frankie, you can rest up because you're very injured. Ugh. I feel kind of bad for him uh, scolding, but definitely worth it because we just want to find out what's going on with this iron. I don't think this is a problem. Uh, maybe it is. No, that's a very small amount of water. But yeah, we'll get this hooked up. So, we'll just do the wire going up like this. We'll dig all of that out. We'll uh, go this way. Just go up and down. And then the actual pump, the actual pipe will go the same way. So that is polluted water. So I'm actually going to have the pipe go a slightly different way. Let's have the pipe go this way. Ah, no, that doesn't work. We'll stick to plan A. So that is 30 degrees contaminated water. We want that to... We want the bathroom loop to be loaded preferentially. So... So what we'll want to do is we'll want to make this a bridge and then we'll want to make this a bridge that connects afterwards. I think so. Let's do this. Oh, blimey, <laughs> this is getting messy. Right, 
Yeah, so that way the bath bathroom water should always loop onto there first. I mean, we'll see if that works in practice, but I'm fairly confident that will work. Hmm. Sorry, don't mind me. Mew, mew, mew. So these plants are already growing. But they're gonna they're gonna heat up. What they do we'll just put some ice from here. guys aren't cramped. These guys aren't cramped. <laughs> he does not look very happy. I don't really want to get rid of all the sun uh, shine nymphs because I think I might need them for radiation. Why are you trapped? Well, I mean, you're going to dig your way out of there, so I'm not super worried. Put that ladder there, you should be fine. I'm gonna start running out of oxygen soon, though. Uh, let's actually get everyone up here. Actually, it's not needed because you can you can get out that way. Yeah, that's fine. He's not getting rid of this tile yet. Right, how is this going? Oh, we- oh, I didn't need this- I didn't need this pipe here. Okay. keep going. Uh, I'm probably gonna wrap it up in about half an hour because uh, I'm quite tired. Um, it's been a productive stream. We've solved a few early game problems. I think food situation is still pretty dire but we've got got the polluted water vent so now we can now we can actually sustain these pits because they are kind of starving. We do have plenty of eggs. Um but uh, we could have more. How's the research going? Uh, not great. Have you done the water as well? No, you've, you've all got lots of stuff to do. It's understandable.
Yeah, I think we've overproduced oxygen slightly, but that's not the end of the world. Actually, this is the wrong place for this, uh, this loop. Because I could set this geyser to just fill up the bathroom loop. Uh, that's probably not worth changing, though. Because it's not going to take too long to fill that up. Yeah, we're getting up there. I guess Frankie's been resting up. He's getting the research done now. So that's good. Getting this all hooked up. Definitely going to want to analyse that. We have got regular... Well, we've got Puff Princes up here as well. So we could set this up to get slime. There's no mushrooms, but puff branching for food is also an option. But all these ranches are just going to take a while to set up. Oh, we don't have temp shift plates. That's fine. Quickly can we research that? Almost gone through all of the starting food. Okay, that is enough water. <laughs> Thank you. Good grief. Now uh, we're going to need to sweep all that up as well. Yes, I know the pips are starving. We need to sweep the eggs. Put them in here. Right, we're getting pretty close to this game done. So let's dig the uh, tile here. Uh, this area is going to fill up with polluted oxygen, isn't it? So I'm probably going to want manual airlocks. Just to stop the polluted oxygen from escaping, because I don't think we'll need to come back in here. Yeah. Yep, so you can go down that way, that's good.
yeah, it contains food poisoning. So that is fine for plants. That's a lot of water. So we want this to be a regular tile again. And we've got some barbecue. <laughs> some pips have died. Yeah, so we've got sage hatchlings. It's good, but coal is not admittedly the resource I think I have a problem with. <laughs> it's not raw. That's the achievement, isn't it? Oh, that's one of them. Yeah. So you've got digging, so let's just continue with building because everyone needs building. <laughs> we don't have a proper builder. Yeah, so I guess we're just still filling this uh, loop for now. Everyone's having a nice shower at least. Just giving us some extra morale, I imagine. I'm still going to want that uh, hydro sensor. Get that very shortly. We could use the last of the uh, lead on that, I think. And the iron. What temperature is the iron? So 70 degrees. Uh, 300 degrees. Okay, we have about three. We need temp shift plates. That's definitely the next research. Yeah, we'll keep going until cycle 40 is done. And hopefully by then we'll have the pit branches actually functioning properly. Yeah, Frankie, you can breathe in all this polluted oxygen. Perfect. Yeah, please do build these. Okay, so the pump is working. Obviously it's not hooked up yet, so it's or well, the automation isn't hooked up, so it's gonna be quite inefficient at the moment. Really? <laughs> Reed is rotting. Actually, this could be priority five. Well, let's set this priority one for now. So please research the other stuff. And what we'll do is we'll set the hydro sensor um, to read at, um, to allow the pump to activate when it's 50 kilograms or higher something just to make sure that it's um, not pumping a stupid amount of liquid stupidly low amount of liquid so the real test will be filling this 
pipe it up. And then... Oh, that water's going to be relatively cold as well, because... Because... The geyser areas are generally cold. Okay. I'm not complaining. But it'll be interesting to see what hap how the bathroom loop specifically interacts with that. So, how's everyone doing? So, oh, right, yeah, yeah. So, this is, uh, stop pumping. So, we can block that back off. Probably just do something like... this and just sweep up all the salt water because we don't need it because we've got this liquid lock down here that's in the actual uh, correct spot Oh, wait, no, we're not going to want... <laughs> we're not going to want that, we're going to want tiles. There we go. So now that means as well that I can dig this, deconstruct this, deconstruct this. What gap? Uh, we hatched the sage, sage hatchling. Okie dokie. Somewhere. No? Hmm. I have no idea. So I think we'll just deconstruct all of this. Hopefully the salt water won't destroy the plant. Actually, I didn't reconsider really that. Yeah, sweep up, please. We got a builder. <laughs> we got a builder. I mean, can't dig. Potentially a problem. Still too good to pass up. So uh yeah there's our last build there's our last dupe for now. Thank god. Yeah, there you go. So him not being able to dig is probably going to cause us some issues if he's building stuff outside the base, but uh I'm pretty sure it'll be worth it. Okay, so now, 96, 96, 96. Perfect. So now we can increase this to 8 capacity. This can increase to 8 capacity. Idols. We're all idle now. Oh yeah, we need to research temp shift plates. Where are they again? Christ, I can't remember. 
here. Oh, we didn't finish the fire pole research. Okay. Oh yeah, the hydro sensor. Yeah, you can build that as well. Yeah, so the trees are getting fed, at least, which is really good. At least and at last. I'll have to watch what exactly happens with the bathroom loop, but that's not filling yet. We're absolutely going to need the temperature plates over here, though, to cool down this mealwood. Because we've only got four cycles of food left. Uh, I think I could deconstruct the battery and put in another bed for our sixth person as well. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So we can deconstruct this again, deconstruct this again. These guys do be wondering. Yeah, so we need the uh, research. What are you doing? Oh, you're getting the lead. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I did tell you to do that. So we're going to want all the pip gubbings in here again. I hope people haven't been building stuff out of iron ore. I'm not, I'm not going to use this. Alright, fire poles. That gives someone something to do. Temp shift plates. Uh, ice. Yeah, please do. Something like that. And now we might as well dig all of this out as well. Search this. So I'm hoping this will actually cool the air enough to be worth doing. keep filling this with uh, water as well. Oh, 
is Max up to, anyways? Oh, he's building the temp ship plates. He's trying, anyways. Yeah, so we can keep doing this for a while. We've still got some nasty gases in here, which is going to uh, prohibit us from doing the pit branch completeness in a while, for a while. But what I could even do now is I could just dig in here. And then I can tile this all up from the other end. Yeah, so branches are growing now, so the pips should be eating that one. Yeah, so we should stabilize. Wow, this ice is actually taking a bit longer to heat up than I thought it would. So that should help. <laughs> oh boy, you're cured of hypothermia. I think this will overpressurize if uh, it fills up to this level. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I think this is starting to work. Probably lent we probably lent on the side of making it slightly too cold, but that's fine. We'll polish a lot of this stuff later on. Uh, yeah, and eventually we'll find a uh, an outlet for all this natural gas. I mean, while we have the ice, we might as well do that instead, because that's just less less of a temperature differential. But eventually, I think we will just want to set up the cooling loop with the natural gas going around this room. So let's just start tiling this back up. Yeah, these are cooling. The ice is heating up. Right, you are done. So that's going to keep erupting for a long time. It's good to hear. Okay, well, how many of these plants does it take to do? So, so it produces 200 calories a day. We need 6,000 calories. We need 30 plants. We currently have 23. That should be fine. Oh, that should be fine. Because we will have the ranches to supplement that. We we'll want to do Dracos as well. Yeah, there you go. 
you guys are actually eating now. So what is the... I guess we'll see what the bathroom weep's doing. I'm pretty glad they added those noises for the pips. Yeah, so this is all working as intended. Let everyone go to sleep, and I think we're just going to stick with these six dupes for at least until the food shortage is solved. Maybe I should have taken that mug route. You're going to have time <laughs> to go to sleep. Yeah. It's interesting because the sink itself doesn't actually count as an errand. Right, uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, thank you for watching. Um, it's, it's actually been quite busy today um, <laughs> compared to some of my other streams. So I'll keep going with this. I, I'll i try and stream as much as I can this week, but I'm not sure how much free time I'm going to have. Um, I'm definitely going to continue this map. Um, I'm happy with the pip setup. Now, now we've got the polluted water online. That's a reasonable temperature. So these guys will have plenty of food. I'm really glad I found that. Um, otherwise, we probably would be in big trouble. And we, we may still be in a little trouble. Because uh, we're currently relying on mealwood food. And it's not quite enough mealwood. <sighs> but we do have plenty of pips. We do have a considerable amount of eggs. And now these guys should be happy, so they should start producing a lot more eggs. So, I think the food situation is still a little bit delicate. But uh, it is solvable. More hatch ranches would always be a good thing. We wanna, we're going to want to put in some Drekka ranches. We're just going to want to go absolutely mad with ranches, and that's why I hope we can get... Um, uh, mechatronics soon so we can automate all of that we have a good amount of iron just from this volcano um so we basically just dumped a load of salt water on it and we're gonna leave it to run until the salt water starts to boil and and uh yeah so that's solving our refined metal needs at the moment uh but yeah next episode is definitely just gonna be getting over the food crisis uh but yeah thanks for thanks for sticking around Here's our humble little colony. We definitely need to put in some fire poles as well. Uh, but at the moment, the water tank is kind of in the way of the fire poles. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.